Uh, welcome back to another uh, Malone University Smash Bros. live stream. Uh, once again, I'm joined by my good friend and comrade, Noah Marsh. Hey, hello, Noah. yo, hello, hello. How's it going? It's going pretty well. How have you been? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's been a little bit. Uh, we've since hosted our own little uh, local tournament since the last time that... Uh, uh, we've done any sort of streaming or anything like that, um, but you know we're uh, we're making it happen, and uh, we're back for another semester. We have uh, quite a few uh, new individuals to add to the roster this year, um, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a good time. It's a good time, but um, it seems like I've met I've met a good majority of them, and they seem uh, very interested in Smash, and also uh, as they should be. Just as as a whole, uh, very fun and uh, fun loving individuals. So it's it's very cool to see. Okay, the stream has a little bit of a dark overlay on it for some reason, and I don't know why that is. Oh yeah. I wonder if that's a weird. Oh, they're starting out with Andy. Thing. Oh, oh baby, Andy the Andy the starter. Yeah, I wonder if it's... Um, shouldn't be that. Um, why is it? Why does it have this? Oh, he's got... Oh! The, he's getting the rap going. Yeah, he's he's hyping up. <laughs> I, like, I like their name, Chicken. <laughs> I wonder if I do that. Nothing. Because I think... Oh, wait, is it... Uh, filter. That's what it is. Uh, there we go. Oh, we'll, we'll We're in business. Whew. Look at that. Clean and crisp. You can see On the everything. Whew. Troubleshooting's my middle name. Ooh, Andrew Troubleshooting. <laughs> no last name for security <laughs> reasons. <laughs> but if you know him, you probably know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I see that Andy has picked Steve there for a reason. Oh, um, oh, he, d does he play Steve? I, he does not, no. Good. I'm pretty sure maybe someone might have uh, picked that for him. Oh, I okay. I can't quite and tell. just like trolling? Uh, yeah, potentially. I, I have to yeah, you got, go for it. <laughs> He's just trying to scare people. Oh, but he uh, scared me. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's gonna be quite the uh, quite the mind bender there to uh, <laughs> pop in Steve for Wi-Fi check, and then Ganon uh, in the actual match. So that'll be uh, right. <laughs> in the Wait, end. so so are they currently watching the stream? Uh, like I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. But you know. Um, if they are, you know, welcome. If they're not, element of surprise. Um, <laughs> That's right. So who all is on varsity? So uh, this semester, um, we, they're, like, we're a little, since we have a lot of interest this semester, it's a little bit more fluid than it was the previous times. Um, so um. we have, uh, we have Andy Johnson, who's starting out here. Nice. Caleb Summers, uh, Aiden Calderhead, and we have um, Braden Gleason, who is going to be excuse me, participating in this match. Next match, we'll have Austin McIntyre, who's going to be oh. playing. And um, we have a couple new freshmen that we're uh, uh, Micah's evaluating right now, trying to see where they're at, um, seeing how they fit into the picture. But um, right. yeah, uh, it's not out of the question to. Uh, see how the dice rolls and uh get some people playing varsity levels people playing jv levels you know just uh get experience all around here so. right okay because yeah there are i have at least two in my mind that i could see uh potentially starting out yeah um because they even joined for actually one of them joined for uh rocket smash yes yes absolutely uh, so Yep, uh, Micah's uh, Micah's uh, crafting some uh, some individuals, crafting skills to uh, ingrain in our uh, 
in our new players here to see uh, see if we can start them off early, you know? Good so. deal. Yeah, no, that's solid, especially with five freshmen coming in. Is um, that, We have... Or, like, four consistent? So, yeah, we have, a, like... So we have two for sure that I knew beforehand, before the semester started. Um, post the semester starting, a couple more. So we probably have four freshmen that I know of. Unless I'm forgetting somebody. We have a lot of people now. Um, <laughs> so what to can say be said? Least. Yeah. So... Even Micah himself is not fully sure what the roster completely is yet, but you know we're working on it. So, <laughs> That's right. Um, That's right. So yeah. Oh, that um, fantastic. But yeah, so and this is uh this is gonna be the first varsity match in the new dojo. Um oh, so, yeah. uh, we are uh, currently streaming from the room that used to be the dojo. Um, but uh, we have now flip flopped since then. And uh, look at this it, man. It gives <laughs> it gives a little bit uh <laughs> Gives a little bit of uh, more space for sure uh, for for our largest team. They needed a they needed a proper uh, needed a proper large room to have their matches be played in and whatnot. So I'm happy that over the summer we were able to get the renovations done to get things ready for them. But uh, today we have a brand new uh, Smash Ball uh, chilling up on the wall, and it is beautiful and colorful and all of the wonderful things that go along with that. So. Um, everything, everything in there looks absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you guys, you. you guys did phenomenal with. There, there's, uh, there's more we have planned. Uh, not anything crazy or massive, but we're, you know, we're, we're still working on a couple things. Um, but that okay. Smash Ball definitely has been a long time coming. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what Steven is? Pokemon trainer. Stop! What is it? Who? Who? Who's playing Steve? It's, we're a Wi-Fi check. Wi-Fi oh, check. We're, oh, we're, we're just doing a lag I, check. I, I, okay, <laughs> I didn't understand what a Wi-Fi check was. Yeah, so the, I think they're just uh, testing out the uh, um, testing out movement, see how quick it takes for certain things to come out and whatnot. So, um, oh, okay. Uh, we uh, the uh, the lovely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, the Steve. I, I was ready to see a. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I was ready to see all of the jumps and uh, recovery come out of uh, Charizard there so that Steve would fall off sooner. But, um. Uh, they you were, know, they were. They, a, uh, a gentle Zard, as yes. some may say. <laughs> Oh. Okay, getting the getting the real game started here. Oh uh -huh, um, yeah. Yeah, we do not have any uh, no Steve players on our on our team, believe it or not. So, um, which personally I'm thankful for. I am too, you know. But I, also they they have a brain that just goes beyond <laughs> regular thinking. They are natural six heads when it comes to the game. I agree, but. <laughs> With a band tech, I can see why we don't have any. Yes. But <laughs> oh, Bayonetta. Uh, interesting. They, they, they did the mix up as well. They did. There's like, oh, maybe they'll counterpick. <laughs> but <laughs> counterpicking a Ganondorf, am I right? Oh yeah. Ganon is the natural counter for every single character. Absolutely. Um, no one's just mastered him yet, really is the is the problem. Right, right. That's why you don't really see them at tournaments, is because everyone's just afraid to. Everyone's show afraid off. to be the first. Right. No one has the. Uh, no one. No one has uh, taken the steps to become the first. So uh, we have <laughs> the bayonetta goodness. popping off here with uh, some. Ooh, oh no! Okay. Great We're, air dodge yeah. from Andy. That there. was uh, yeah, like, Andy. I will. I will not say that he's unfamiliar with the bayonetta. Um, I have played against him here or there as bayonetta. I am not anywhere near as good as this one, but um, if he just plays a little bit defensive and patient, then he will be able to to go to town. I think so. Right, because Bayonetta, like you, you have to get in close. Oh, Ooh. okay, that was a that was a great uh, great follow up there with the neutral B. Um, so right, oh, there, see that right there. Like let Bayonetta get in close. Use your shield. Oh, okay. Right, shield, shield is definitely very important yeah. when it comes to Bayonetta because uh, if the side B on the ground hits you while you're shielding, uh, the rest of her combo stops and she's yep. in a ton of end lag. Yep. 
That um, is that is the biggest problem that I have as playing with her. That just like the amount of end lag for stuff like, which rightfully so considering a uh, Smash Four Bayonetta. Oh, there it is. Right, Picked up good. Stock. Like, there. and she's so lightweight too. Like right there. Like I mean, granted, any percentage in the eighty range against a Ganondorf uh, is going to be problematic. But just like up till middle of the stage, like. Um, just picking up a kill like that, so. Right. Quality. But yeah, this bayonet is definitely. Oh, carry off the top. Not quite. Ganondorf's a heavy man. That's right. Oh, not quite. Keep getting that the side off there. Oh, oh, and oh, that's so. Oh. Oh, going for so it. So close. The back air. Oh, not quite Good. picking it up. And uh, bayonetta not able to connect it with the neutral B. But oh, a nice, uh, nice uh, forward throw off stage. Um. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a sh moving. Yeah, she's she's doing all the things that she needs to do. But I'm pretty confident Andy can at least pick up another another stock here. Um, oh, <laughs> I don't think I, he I don't think he meant to do that one. I don't think but so. Man, but that have been great. I mean, I'm all for Ganon hype, and I wish that would have hit. I know, I know that. I mean, obviously, it did not hit. Oh, but my goodness! Uh, oh, they even waited. Carry for, off. Good job. For the finish of that combo. That's well played by the Bayonetta. Yeah, very good job to the Bayonetta. Very good job to Andy. Yes, uh, absolutely. Very difficult to get around that. And Ganondorf, uh, even though he's the best character, uh, <laughs> is very, like, I'd say more than half of his gameplay is recovery. Yeah. <laughs> because he, yeah. he is going to get hit 99% of the time. And everything combos because he's a big boy. Yes. Um, so going into uh, Caleb here, uh, we have a little bit of a zoner, so I feel like this will be uh, advantageous, um, assuming that he can get his zoning off on this Bayonetta, right. um, get, uh, get some projectile game going, um, but this Bayonetta seems to be very familiar with the combos. I wouldn't say that they were perfect by any means. Um, there was definitely room for, um, for Andy to kind of DI out of combos and things like that. Um, right. But, uh, but if, uh, if Caleb can play his cards right and just get some space, then I think that uh, he should be able to pick up these next two stocks. Right. So. And then it'll be important for the mind games as well with how well Link can, and especially with the way Caleb plays, uh, just like getting in their head and making them rush certain right. plays will bring more opportunities to take that bayonet as stocks. Yep, I so, agree. Uh, so his patience will have to outlast that bayonetas, and then, uh, and then just keep poking. Yeah, I like and um, and uh, Caleb has definitely improved his bomb game. It's gotten significantly stronger. Like. Um, some of the stuff that he was uh, trying to do to me in uh, combo or uh, in our little mock crew battle the other night, like I was thoroughly impressed. I will say, um, he also did not hit as many things as he tried to do, but he was getting there. <laughs> but he, he was getting there. He, he and had you know, he had the text. Yeah. the The thought process was there, and I and I was. Right. Uh, and I was about it because it was. Uh, I can't say that it was fully there last semester, and it shows how much he's he's been working on it. So, good, good job, Caleb. Let's Boy. see it. All right, into round two. No Against time to waste. Chicken, not chicken. 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 But uh, but right off the bat, oh, the uh, boomerang coming back. Uh, Caleb. Uh, it, Caleb is. Right off the bat, trying to get the space that he needs. Um, but Bayonetta closing the gap there for a, for a moment. Wow. And picking up 50% just like, right off the bat. Yeah, like, I I can get chip damage for days with Bayonetta. But in terms of actually, like, picking up the kill because I can't do the aerial combos, like, that is my biggest problem. I'll get people to 200% and I'm just not killing. Just not able to. Oh, my wow. goodness, Forward what smash. a call out. Good choice from that Bayonetta. Uh, yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised that killed so early. I mean, it is it is a strong well. smash attack, I will say. And man, is it satisfying to hit. But uh, right, I didn't think that it was going to I, actually. I was him. I was surprised. It, he he might have been trying to run away in that moment, and then the DI was just like, "All right, well, we'll take you that way, good sir." 
Oh, good patience. Good, yeah. Oh, nice man. try with that edge guard. Um, whenever uh, whenever she was coming down there, um, because I've played Bayonetta, I know how vulnerable she was right in that moment. And that was yeah. a great parry from Bayonetta once again. Oh, and another, another forward, forward smash, smash picking up the stock. It's all right. It's all right. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Good bomb. Yep. Ooh. Getting some schmoofs. Yeah, this Vena is starting to get uh, more comfortable. Oh, Good up B. Good job. That up Picking up the stock. Shoot. Right. All right. Let's see it, Caleb. Give him the schmix. Oh, oh, oh. So close. If like, that I, like just... that's what I'm saying, man. He's getting there. He's <laughs> right. definitely he's getting there. <laughs> the ideas are there. I'm surprised that Boomerang did not hit him. I am, the... I am too. Good DI out. Not there letting uh, not letting Bayonetta do her thing. Okay, All good. Right. Took up high. the arrow. Oh. Right. <laughs> and surprisingly, high. rapid jab, great kill option for Bayonetta. Yes, it's one of the strongest. Uh, I think Bowser Jr. is the strongest, <laughs> ironically. Yeah. I have no clue uh, why. Yeah. Why he had to give him something, you know? I mean, I guess. <laughs> but, oh, oh, good choice. Spike, not quite able to pick up the, the connection for an up air. Ooh, the, oh, man. Man, the boomerang's not... Uh, Not quite connect in the way that I'm like ready for it. and like this bandit is spacing. They're doing a great job like oh, oh There we oh. go man. I was ready for some double forward smash action from link there But oh. uh, he, uh, he, like but he was just trying to get the hits off which I absolutely I absolutely respect But yeah, this bayonet is playing very patiently. She's doing great, right? Oh, that might be dangerous. Oh Okay, no, so okay, good. okay. Hopefully you kept his jump, and he did. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Okay. Coming back. Hit while in which time? Uh, I hate when that happens to me. It is the worst <laughs> thing. Because I'm like, oh, yes, finally. And then, oh, oh okay. Rolling the around dodge, the grab. The dodge. <sighs> like, oh, a oh, new, like no. a, uh, oh. Uh, he's at such it, a high it. percent. Oh, oh okay, man. I was, was ready for a grab or something to come out there. Oh. Right. But he he's in like a situation where I mean I wouldn't even want to be grabbing oh, this yeah, situation no. where it's just it's, it's at 174 it's oh and he got yes! with the forward yes! air which time has nothing on your boy <laughs> Caleb <laughs> that was phenomenal I was I, I was just like ain't no way this is gonna work <laughs> ain't no way but that that first hit yep. came out just in time, yep. right before he was about to get absolutely decimated yep. from an up smash. And oh, very I, very. It well is the played. bane of me when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> very well played. Oh, Caleb. But dude. man, to see it happen to someone else, man, is this great? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. We feel it for your pain, Andrew. We feel it for your pain, as as a Bayo. Uh, As a like a pseudo secondary pseudo that I secondary. will occasionally pull out every once in a while for the fun of it, and then like <laughs> kill myself all three stocks um, for the skill. And yeah, absolutely. Like, just you know, just showing off, you know. She like she is one of the most different characters in the roster to play. Like mm -hmm. just even down to recovery. Like she has an amazing recovery if you know how to use it. And that bayonetta absolutely did, like using the double up airs and just keeping her keeping her jump cuz you have to unlike every other character in the game, you have to start her recovery with either up B or side B. Like right. and it's just so foreign to for like that's typically what you want to save for the very last for right. any other character. Because you just go straight into free fall, yes. but because bayonetta is, is different the way that she is. Yep. Um up B into jump. Jumping yep. actually just resets yeah. all, and all B interactions. Yep. And uh, that's what makes her her. I, right. like, <laughs> um, I With the way that Bayonetta played, whenever Smash was actually getting some attention from Nintendo, um, I was uh, ready for Dante from Devil May Cry to be introduced in here. Because, oh. like, with the... Uh, you could have done it very similar to Bayonetta's gameplay... Um, but uh, with the different specials, you could kind of do the different styles that Dante has, like be it gun, sword, or blah blah blah, whatever. Um, like it would, I feel like they could have made a very similar character to Bayonetta, but for Dante, because they're both like beat 'em ups 
where uh, tons of enemies around, you get the combos, like you knock people up in there, you juggle them, like in their actual games. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah. Because so. I, I haven't I haven't played those games. Oh, okay. Um, I I had not played it until maybe two summers ago, I think. Like uh, the original trilogy, actually the whole series was on sale on Steam, and I picked it up. And oh, I I played through all of them through five except for the reboot that they did because no one liked the reboot. Um, <laughs> this, so, this is Devil May Cry, right? Yes, Devil May Cry. Okay. Oh, and they have actually different people joining for uh, joining the lobby for their for their match. Unlike uh, unlike eighty percent of the other people, including us, um, we just use the same switch. Um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Maybe it's like a it's feeling of home field advantage. Like yeah, like technically, I think it's in the rules to do that. But like, oh, really? it's so like why you know like right. If there's if there's one switch, why not right. continue with it? All right, I'm ready to see this uh, this Marth gameplay. I'm interested to see after the especially after the bayonetta. Do they start off with their strongest, or uh, are they saving the best for last? Right. So, this Marth is definitely uh, playing on the defensive. Got the uh, got the Marth aerials that they're trying to hit up, so they uh, they know the game plan. That's for sure. Interesting. Let's see them. Uh, let's see them execute. Oh, picking wow, up the uh, up the. Uh, from Caleb. That was totally intentional arrow that way. That's right. D just wanted to make sure that. Uh, Paying attention. You know? Right, right, right. <laughs> of course. I was, I, I was ready for the Marth to jump there as well too. So I was uh, on uh, shield out of shield grab coming from Marth. He sees that uh, Caleb is putting pressure like that. So good decision making. That would have been a fantastic Man. bomb to hit there. Had been. I would have been. Oh, yes, good picking up there. the stock. Yo, that's my just man. what he needs to do. I mean, Caleb, he is he is putting in the work. Absolutely. That Marth oh. did not have a melee Marth grab range. Uh, no, um, sadly, not from across the stage. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, Caleb's trying to catch up those uh, those Marth jumps uh, with his boomerang, but his Marth is not quite falling for it. So right, um, definitely oh, staying more grounded, which is uh, very interesting to see from a Marth. Yeah, I think I think Caleb's just giving him a hard time trying to get their their game going so like you can like i see the cogs turning in this marth right now he's like wait i just need to be patient but then he was like wait i can't stay this far away because uh because uh they will just projectile me to death so um, right oh that's Ooh. that's a rough one oh oh using oh, the ball no. oh, oh no that's no. uh, uh that's a real shame that is it's all right it's all right Good job, Caleb. Yeah, very good job, Caleb. <laughs> There's like a slight delay. Yeah, the the stream delay. That's uh, that's like the other PC games because they uh, because they are like you could actually benefit from having um, like uh, someone visually like watching over stuff like for cod like you could say oh he's over here like you could technically be cheating like telling oh, your so we have stream right. delays set up according to rules smash doesn't really matter because like by the time we're seeing stuff like it there, there's no point in, in really communicating with uh with our players in there but since we have that uh stream delay um it it adds for uh we follow the rules, but also it adds for a little bit of funny uh, interaction with the audience, too. So. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, it makes sense to, to kind of have that delay. I mean, just in case if, like, either one of the players is kind of listening in. Right. Uh, they could hear, like, uh, either some advice right. that we may be accidentally giving. Or, or even for the opposing team to tune into our stream. Uh, so, like, by the time that they've gotten the information, then... Uh, it's not too useful for them since it's delayed. Right. Um, but we got Brayden coming up here with uh, King K. Rule. Okay, Brayden. So, Hit him we'll with the crown. The we'll see the gameplay. Yo! Yo! Good sport. Good sport. Thank you, Hawk. I also noticed that both Switch users are birds. <laughs> birds. <laughs> Brayden is a... Uh, Trying to keep his distance as best he can. 
right, which is oh, that was a that, weird that interaction. <laughs> like just like Snazzy still landing on there. platform, but at the same time, like uh, still hits. hitting the uh, oh, not quite able to connect the the jab there. You know, he got he got his little but, his yeah, little he's got yeah, through. he can uh, Ooh, he's he make dangerous. that back easily. So oh, armor armor coming through there to uh, well, he wanted it. He did. Oh. oh, not quite able to connect there. Braden is like, he he's trying his darndest to make sure that he has space, which is great against this Marth. But it's it's leading to a very slow play style, and I'm just not used to seeing that. Right. Oh, not quite able to pick up the kill there from the Marth. Oh, it'd have been great if he would have neutral bead like uh, sucked up the Marth at, at ledge there and just like <laughs> shot him down <laughs> at uh, uh, off stage. Oh, not quite right. Able to connect. Just like sage spike him. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised because <clears throat> I haven't I haven't seen him. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Still still living. Yeah, he's living. He got the K roll recovery. Oh. Uh, at one seventy five. Up here. Or up throw. At 175, he's in the danger zone, and that neutral air will pick up the stock. That was the danger zone. 45% on this Marth. All right. Yeah, he's going to have to be careful here because now that he's at kind of lower percent, I mean, the, the percent just racked up. Yeah. Um, but now that now this Marth is able to play it since it's a, a larger target, um, Marth is able to actually do his aerial game, um, right. which Caleb was giving him the darndest time of actually trying to execute. Um, oh, oh, stage spike coming in from the Marth. It's all right. It's all right. Got this, Brady. We pick up a stock here. I'm hoping so. He's almost to the legendary number. <laughs> Uh, but I don't think King K. Rool has a single move that can do 2%. Unless if it's just jab. <laughs> like the very toenail of, uh, of, a, of, a, of a move coming off. Right. Or like they're in the blast zone for too long, so they just naturally rack up percent. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good I'm a... Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> Like I'm looking to see uh, Brayden like hold neutral B out a little bit longer to start the vacuum because this Marth has jumped in a lot. Right. Oh, oh, perfect spacing. Yeah, good spacing there. Good spacing. Yeah, um, I was I was surprised as well because I I was thinking that he was going to just uh, suck him in. At yeah, him. like because the the Marth was approaching from the front so often, right. and uh, he was catching on to the fact that Brayden wasn't. So specifically, if Brayden would have mixed it up and held it out there a little bit longer then i think we could have uh we could have seen um a little bit of edge guarding uh, uh, uh or at least an edge guard situation come out there right but, potentially uh, a spike yes, I, I would be about it i so. would be about that as well but uh yeah i'm wondering i'm wondering if he either did that a lot previously and is trying to I, kind I, of steer away from yeah that. that's probably my guess um which isn't a bad thing but there's right. a time and a place. Right. It, it can be such a useful tool, uh, especially because I, I feel like that Marth, especially at the beginning of every game and just like trying to very much just try to observe. Yes, I agree. And uh, has shield on a lot. Yes. And it's, v it's very interesting to see like a grounded Marth as mm -hmm. a whole because I they, – they, are f flying. Yes. They are in the air. Birds. All the time. Birds, yes. if you will. <laughs> Hawk chicken. <laughs> but, ooh, purple dark Sam is looking spicy. Alrighty. Three, two, one, go! So Alrighty. Alright. See this Dark Samus versus socks. the Marth. I'm Ooh. fairly confident that uh, Aiden can probably pick up this match. Um, Aiden is, uh, as the Marth is, very observant. And um, I feel like that just uh, watching how the Marth played uh, against the uh, other folks, um, 
Ooh, but that is going to be at least a little bit problematic. He's making it back, though. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this Marth is definitely a lot more aggressive with Samus, though. Yes. Um, oh, oh, wow. That's very surprising. That's... I am, I am very surprised by that. Because, like, Samus even, like, shrinks. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that it, like, as you can see in the animation, uh, Samus just, like, fumbles back and forth. I'm assuming that it went into a backward motion yeah. and further into the blast Just zone. Just like uh, the ankle getting touched in the blast zone. and then, Unfortunately. But uh, right there, we're at 76% on, uh, on the Marth. But like you said, this Marth is being very aggressive towards uh, specifically Samus. Uh, Caleb was not giving uh, this Marth the breathing room to be this aggressive. Um, so if, uh, if Aiden can figure out something similar, then... Uh, I think we can see a, a stalker or so. Uh, oh, good recovery. Coming up here. Oh, they're right there. there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes! yes! Send him to the Beautiful. shadow realm. That, that has Samus to feel does. so good. Oh, every time, especially as a Samus, where it's like yeah, it's it's very more difficult. Touchy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Audience. Just oh, heard good it. spot dodge coming from the. Ooh, oh, and tipper. straight into a straight into a forward smash. Well executed. You see Aiden trying to trying to get the spacing there. Right. If Ooh. They're both yeah. they're both making sure that their opponent is like just in their like range. So they're doing great job at like shield pressure and, and things like that. So Right. Um, this is This is quality. Yes it is. Very solid match. Definitely uh I'd say pretty evenly match in terms of yeah. like observing and Ooh, uh, Ooh. getting the pokes out. <gasps> oh, oh no! Oh, it's still coming yuck. in. Ugh. Wow. That was so fast too. That was. Wow. I don't even know if that Marth meant to meant to do that. But it know. worked. It worked nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that was yucky. But well played by the Marth. Yeah, very, very well very well played. Getting Regardless the, of getting us the being. spacing in the distance, like they did a very good job. Right. And because Marth is just a very technical uh, or like space oriented character, yes. uh, very, very well done. A lot of tippers can be seen through there. Yep. And just like knowledge of the character and using uh, the strong suits as they did yep. was, was very, very well done. All right, let's see uh, who we're starting off with uh, oh, for, the, for round two. I bet we're <laughs> gracious. going back to the stage uh, selection there. <laughs> wonder if they meant to pick PS2, although it was already PS2. So Right. See. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're just like, oh, man, here, here we go. We need another lag test on uh, Lilat, please. <laughs> <laughs> All four games on Lilat? <laughs> just... Uh, Please. Oh Lord! All right, let's pick it up for round two, everybody. I, I have the so I have the confidence in them. So it, it I feel like it depends on who starts. If they do uh, Bayonetta and Ganondorf again, that's gonna be a really that showed that proved to be a difficult matchup for Andy. So right. I bet if uh, Caleb were to go in there, um, to if if they do start with Bayonetta, or they could start with someone that we haven't even seen yet. So right, um, which we'll they have they have two they have people. two two question marks. But yeah. I'm confident we can see him get populated. Right, I'm, I'm thinking. That they will probably go with uh, someone that they have not used yet. I agree. Um, just for just for playing time yes, sake. Yes, I, I agree. And I think, I mean, is this is this like the first game? So this, uh, at least for us, it is. I know. Yes, this is the first. So this is the second week of matches. This is our second week opponent. After this, we'll have our first week opponent that we're going to play against. Oh, okay. Um, so. Um, but yeah, they they definitely have a solid uh, they definitely have solid character skill from what I've seen so far from their team. They that Bayonetta knew how to play Bayonetta, and that Marth definitely knew how to play Marth. Caleb made it really hard for that Marth to play Marth, and that like 
tripped them up quite a bit, I could tell. Right. Um, Because, like, they were literally standing still at some points. And I feel like had Caleb had all three of his stocks, we would have have seen him come out on top on that Marth. Um, Right, because... Uh, he he took a stock off that Marth. Yes, he did. Um, and okay, are we uh, are we going oh, straight into uh, Marth again? Okay, Aiden wants some retribution. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, no, he said run run it back. <laughs> yep, put me in, coach. At a boy, what he said. <laughs> straight to Micah. <laughs> <laughs> put me in, coach. Two, one, go. All right. Okay. Good luck. Let's see the game plan. Marth's trying to close the close the distance, as Marth does, get just enough spacing on their opponent. Good up B there. Yep. Yeah, those platforms are dangerous. Yeah, the um, like I I love the idea behind Aiden's bomb gameplay, but I feel like uh, against this Marth, uh, the space is to Marth's advantage. So um, right. Oh, good. This Marth definitely is uh. There we go. Oh, he wanted it. Yeah, he, he did. He wanted it. They both a wanted 20, it. <laughs> a 27% uh, spike coming out. I would have loved to have seen it. Um, oh, good decision. I was absolutely ready for uh, Aiden to be on the platform there, but he just fell straight through in the Martha. It seemed like he was expecting that as well. So, Right. But at 131, uh, this could prove troublesome for, for Aiden. Okay, good decision. Getting some yeah, uh, good. Getting a dash attack in there. Um, what a weird angle. That, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, good choice. Getting like the I, I like Marth has felt very comfortable at the ledge mainly because the sword is long enough to just like uh, oh, oh, good job. And they even they even use side be there for a moment to like give them enough time to meet Aiden where he needed to be at for that uh for that gimp to not really a gimp but for that edge guardian to come into play. So great great gameplay by this Marth. Yeah, no, it's solid. Oh, just the first. Oh, oh man, I that was... was good. Good choices from from Aiden there. Yeah, like um, okay, there, there it we is. Go. Picking up a stock. Good job, Aiden. Again, even evenly matched. Yes, in, in my opinion, it's a it's it's a it's an interesting matchup. Like I feel like they're both thriving off of uh, off Ooh. of advantage, and like oh wow, that, that'll be wow, it. Wow, real right. deep. Like I, it, like I said, I feel like they're both thriving off of advantage for their for their uh, characters. Um, whenever this Marth is, uh, whenever this Marth is doing Marth things, um, oh, good counter. The first but counter that we, we might, see. Oh man! Wow, the edge guarding. Wow, good job. Sorry, sorry. Good play. Good play. Yeah, yeah that I, Marth. What when? Uh, they had advantage. Yeah. They, they, they took it in They ran. heavily thrived off of that. And, like, whenever Aiden had the moments of advantage, too, um, like, he was doing well. Um, yeah, I imagine probably next they'll put in Caleb, if I were to take a guess. A, fr uh, a full three stocks um, up against this Marth. Oh, potentially. That's that's That would be my pick. Uh, maybe Andy wants maybe Andy wants some uh, wants some action. You I can't see, uh, quite tell from my angle. I but. would I would want to put Andy in just okay. just for the fact that Bayonetta could be afterwards, mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed that uh, Caleb did very very well against Bayonetta. Yeah, like so, it was so uh, kind of saving him for that moment. Yeah, that like because um, if Andy needs to go against that Bayonetta, that was a that was definitely a troublesome matchup. But we'll see uh, we'll see what happens here. So. Right, and to to be able to have Andy just to clean up this game. Oh, going to Brayden. Okay. okay, that was Brayden. the last person that I was expecting. But you know, let's see it. <laughs> I mean, you got three they're, choices. They're no, uh, <laughs> they're, uh, they're running it back. Hollow Bastion. Okay. Oh man. All right, Brayden. Let's let's see that King Cruel action. <laughs> but if uh, I'd like to see uh, some some neutral B vacuum action. Yes. Um, I I want to see him <laughs> go a double jump <laughs> off the top platform. Wait for Marth to get over to the oh oh good threat good threat <laughs> like a hawk. Like a like a chicken. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all the birds coming out. 
and now he is just the, playing the, Donkey the projectile, Kong. Yeah, the projectile <laughs> gameplay. Okay, that upper platform is a dangerous place that. for uh, for Brayden to be there. Right. So. All right. Good forward tilt. Oh, oh, oh! There was the vacuum. We saw it for right, a moment. Right. He was he was prepping for it. Now this Marth, that. this Marth definitely, like I am, pleasantly pleased. Pleasantly pleased. I am. Uh, oh Ooh. wow! A spike. You see, I saw I saw him kind of fishing for that. Yeah. Uh, in their previous game. Because that's like one of the solid confirms against King K. Rule's mm -hmm. uh, helicopter yeah. that Marth can do, other mm -hmm. than like forward and back air. Gotcha. Uh, but doing that up B, it's such a difficult, like it's it happens so quickly that mm -hmm. you have a difficult time yeah. just even yeah. thinking about teching it. Yeah. Um, so it's a very good option just to. And Marth has a lot of good uh, edge guarding options too. Ooh. Oh. Good, good job there from Braden, just grounding him, and then giving him the the big five, <laughs> <laughs> or, or like King K rolls a big four, yeah, whatever, whatever he's got, you know. How many? Oh, things? oh, okay. The we crowd's ar the crowd's armor oh. still said, "Hey, you're protected, just like all state." <laughs> Oh, oh good. Up, up smash, smash. Let's go, Braden. coming in. Let's go, Braden. What we like to see a footstool right there. I know it wasn't going to happen, but man, that would have been amazing. Oh, oh, off the top, one eighteen. Yeah, this Marth is having a heyday with right. uh with these big large uh big large characters that's right uh, i i will say i have noticed that oh you see he, yep he, he goes, went for he goes it and tries yep. to fish for that oh man no, uh, oh, i was ready for that grab out of shield and brain went for it but unfortunately was not able to connect for it oh, oh there it is go. the vacuum Get him. that's what we Get wanted to see it. hit him with those wi-fi moments <laughs> that's what i'm talking about <laughs> oh, oh wow. the classic marth combo of down air into forward smash. Great job. You, you hit that at specific percentages and it just decimates. It was beautiful. That was that was a touch of class. Brayden, that was that was phenomenal. <laughs> that was that was good. My man. My man. So I imagine now do, what what are you expecting? Do you expect Andy or do you expect Caleb? I'm I'm thinking Okay, swapping in Caleb here. See if we can uh, pick up a clean, uh, clean, uh, clean stock. No, uh, no stocks lost. I, I definitely have, I have faith in Caleb. He can, uh, he can pull this one through. He's proven it before. Right. Um. Uh, I'm just. I mean, th this could be beneficial. Like, if Caleb goes in, doesn't lose any stocks. He's essentially where he was the first game. Right. I mean, the Bayonetta, I think, was down a stock. Um, but still, regardless, he, he beat that Bayonetta. Yes. Um, but, yeah, it was it was down to the wire. Like, he was at, what, 176? And he, like, and he won because of the witch timing mess up for that Bayonetta. Right, um, into into the forward air. He did well. He, he definitely did well. But, like, that was a very close game. Right. Um, so... Um. So yeah, um, I have uh, I have confidence in Caleb. He can pick up this. Uh, he can. Oh, are we? Uh, oh. <laughs> we uh, we trying someone else. Hit him! Hit him with the oh! What what what's the phrase? It's like a. Uh, feel the full force of my <laughs> neutral attack or something. Yeah. It's <laughs> beautiful. If if you guys have actually, I just noticed. Is there? Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, oh, like well, no actually, chat? yeah. Let me. Um, there should be a way for me to be able to. Oh, I just yanked the mic off the table. Andrew, That's okay. Andrew is staying swole here at Malone. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> too many gains and yeah. pulled off the microphone from uh, where it there was mounted. There should be a chat to. somewhere. I don't remember. It should. 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got a chat. We got chat up in up in this place. Um, Charity. I can't tell. Do I need to make it bigger? Oh, there we go. We have Katie Petticord in the chat. With crying laughing emoji. Okay, Welcome. we're into it. <laughs> All right, here they go. Oh, doing the link things. That's what we like to see. This Martha is definitely like, all right, I remember how this went last time. I'm going to try to keep my space and get in my advantage state. But Caleb throwing out the schmooves, getting the, racking up the damage. But Marth said, my sword does better at range. Ooh, and the counter is going to be super dangerous. Oh, oh, very good choice there from, from Caleb, making sure that uh, he did his up B early and didn't get caught in that that oh, counter man. game. So, ah. Oh. Gotta be careful of that. Yep. Man, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat here. No, I don't know. Oh! Yes! And he yes! said, "Get out of here! I want the yes! bayonetta, please." <laughs> 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 That's what we like to see. <laughs> he said, "Run, run that back." Yes, he did. He's like, "How does it feel to have one stock yes. now, Marth?" Vice versa. <laughs> How does it feel? He gave him the business. In all seriousness, that Marth. Very, very good. Very yes, quality. absolutely. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't know what it is about Link. Like they just like, I wonder if the projectiles just kind of like, the multitude of projectiles made him play a little too defensively, so they can't get into the advantage state for very long anyway. Right, and also, um, uh, he was or that that Marth was definitely more aggressive when, uh, like. As opposed to the first time. The first mm -hmm. time he was observant, he yes. was trying to make sure that uh, he like played his game and played it mm -hmm. well. But this time, he was he was so aggressive with how he played against um, with Brayden, with Brayden and, um, uh, Aiden. Aiden, and then uh, after getting warmed up, with yeah, Caleb, he was like, sorry. "Oh, we can we can go to." But nope, he said, "No, thank you, sir. I'm going to." Uh, I'm going to play my game. Right, Aiden. Aiden said, "No, no, no. We're we're, we're playing patient around <laughs> yeah. here." The um, but the Marth did come very close to picking up a stock there with that counter. But um, if they would have been more patient on the edge guarding, um, I feel like we probably would have seen Caleb down a stock. But um, right. But uh, because that Marth mixed up what they were doing, they weren't ready for Caleb to go up and over on the stage. Um, that led to the situation we're in right now. And the bomb was right there, too. Like, there was That's so many true. factors that were just like, oh, well, you know, this is a bad place for me to be as the Marth. Right. And, uh, so very good just placement overall yes. in that game from from. That's what Aiden. we like to see. Or Caleb, I mean. Great job, Caleb. I'm sorry, Caleb. Much deliberating for stage pick. Yeah, my goodness. And are, are we getting Bayonetta back in here? We have not seen anyone new join, so. Right. I mean, unless if they're just assigned to play on that switch. We fit trainer. What in the non? They they are going to be they're gods here. here. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, one hundred percent. If they if they choose on their own without actively. without any threats actively in a competitive to, setting in a competitive <laughs> setting with we fit, yeah. that they, means that they means. Laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sweat on Leaf Fit is not the only kind of sweat that's dripping. <laughs> oh, and it's the Bayonetta. <laughs> My good, It's the Bayonetta playing, or unless they just have a, a mutual switch over there, and that one guy was the one joining Oh, from maybe, maybe he was, like, off campus yeah, or something. Yeah, who knows. I actually don't um, even know who we're playing. I think George Washington University oh. is uh, who we're playing against. Gotta go fast. Oh. Well, we're into it. Uh, <laughs> gotta go fast. I'm sorry. My mind was just on. <laughs> gotta go fast. Oh. But, yep, yep, I, yep, the, uh, yep, I see it already. They're, they're, they're trying to do all of the, all the things that Wii Fit Trainer does. And I don't, I don't right. think that many of us have a lot of experience against a Wii hey, Fit Trainer. Yo. Like, right there. Um, so, yeah, Wii like Fit Trainer is a funk character through and through. Like, I don't. Oh, oh! Now, what an interaction. <laughs> Calculated. Yeah, exactly. Um, Aiden said, no, thank you. We're going to we're gonna stop that. Um, but, yeah, such 
jank gameplay from the from what we fit trainer does oh, oh man, that would have been that so would have been oh. so fantastic uh, that might I, probably not at 28 percent, but man like the launch angle would have been rough right i mean it, oh wow yikes up smash the what, what what is it called something breathing, something uh, breathing. i can't remember yeah something like that I mean, I know that that's Luther Sun, but that, like, the yeah, amount yeah, yeah, of yeah. knockback and percentage, it, it's Ooh. essentially Shulk, like, Monado Arts. <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit. Not as yeah. extreme, but it definitely helps in those dire situations. Get a little bit of, of uh, percent back as well. So. Right, and, like, no real downsides to it. You right, can get yeah, back absolutely. percentage as well. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, so using that boomerang uh, just to kind of close the gap yeah. is, is very much necessary. Um. <laughs> <laughs> quality, quality. They, they they just had to take a breather. Yes, real they quick. did. Gotta hit my exercises for the day. Okay, okay. Oh, man, like I said, the bomb game. Like the thought is there. Right, and I'm oh. all for it. Oh, I was ready. I will. Oh, oh they good it. tech. They teched it. I'm surprised that that wow. was so techable. Kind of. I mean. The bomb has like good knockback, but I, I'm surprised it launched at that angle to tech, to be honest. Right, and not oh, like oh baby, oh good, yes, choice. picking up a stock. That's good what we like to see. Poise, Caleb, up, uh, but deep breathing. Hey, he oh, did what he needed breathing. to though. Right, he did what he needed to though. Right, he picked up the stock. We, we we hear the reactions of <laughs> yes, them. Yes, we hear the cheering. of the of the cheering. We just uh, are uh, waiting for the alls to come in here shortly. Um, but well played, Caleb. Very well played. Oh, we yeah, got. Uh, oh, they got. We got uh, Andy bringing in his theme song here. Please, please be what. I think I they passed it already. Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, they're going for Cass's theme, or maybe did they actually? I don't know if they actually picked it or not. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think. They did. Yes, they did. Um, but <laughs> uh, we have Andy up against this Wii Fit trainer. That's going to be interesting. Right. Um, Andy's going to have to play very defensively. Is all I'm going to like. He's going to have to. The projectiles are going to be his worst nightmare. Right. Um, with both the neutral B and the volleyball, soccer ball, whatever it is. Um, it's going to be very problematic. Um, and I think that we Fit Trainer is going to put a lot of aggression. Because uh, at this point, um, we've, we've run back the same roster, so they know that, uh, like, that. oh, hey, like, it's likely going to be Ganondorf here. So, um, right. But let's see it, Andy. Give him the schmix. Or actually, it was a female uh, Wii Fit trainer. Give her the schmix. Hollow Bastion. Okay. Oh. Maybe use the middle platform for cover, maybe? From the if, from the little soccer volleyball, whatever it is. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I personally very much dislike platforms as okay. Ganon. Just because... I'm slow enough as, as it is. Right. So to have uh, even more things kind of blocking my way. A very low platform. That, that right B reversal middle. as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like Micah said, they've uh, they've done the labs. They know. Oh, that's what weird like hitboxes and stuff that Wii Fit Trainer has. Right, and like so many things that should not spike, or at least look like they should not spike, Ooh, do spike. Nice spot dodge for the grab. Ooh. Not quite able to pick up the forward smash there, but. Oh. That was a. I'm just, I'm just watching. Like, it's a. It's a very interesting setup here. There we go. No, what was that? Neutral air? That was neutral air, and huh. it's like it, it, it has like a little okay hit box on the knee okay. just because they're just like all right, Ganon, you can you can have something. Yep, maybe. Ooh. Going low. I respect Ooh. it. Ah, not quite. That right. Much f was that? Um, did he roll to get up? I don't know if he did, but if he did, then we fit trainer just has a longer roll to to play around with. Huh. Oh, oh, that's uh, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Good forward tilt. She's making it back though. What's it gonna be, Andy? Oh, 
Oh, fifty-eight oh, percent. Yeah, Man, picking up an the early spike. stock like that. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. You got this, Andy. Yep. Uh, not quite. It's all right. Oh, there we go. Just <laughs> hit, hit the soccer ball. Jab. Oh. Wow, right over the stage too. Yeah, no, wow. that. The spacing from this team is yeah, phenomenal. they're great. Good, good, good pick choice. up. Good, good pick up. Back we still have a stock. You're Ganondorf. You thrive. That's right. This is what you thrive on. If only you had another stock, Andy. You could That's be what, using yep, side like, the off edge. Oh, oh man, that might have that that, that would have, have done it. <laughs> that 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 would have killed a hundred percent. They're like, oh, I'm not getting Ganon sided today. Oh, no, no, not quite, please. Oh, oh, I mean, I know that that was early, but like, but it, it, it could it have did been. It. it did it, though. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Edge of my seat, Noah. Edge right. of my seat. Yes, there you go. Roll in. Make sure, make sure you just like ah. re recontrol the stage. Oh. Oh, yeah, nah, was, nah, yeah, yeah. nah, dude. Uh, oh, I bet they did not mean for that. No, they, they were probably trying to do something uh, funky and the forward. Uh, there it is. The forward Man, zone. I would have been so hyped to have that up smash killed. Right, like, I was just like... That is the Ganondorf thing right there. Just like out of nowhere, up smash, taking a stock early. Right. Um, but well played, everybody. Well yeah, played. very, very well played. Thanks for playing George Washington yep. University. If that is who we were playing against. I'm pretty sure that is I who we were playing against. Um, <laughs> I hope it is. It could have been, uh, oh yeah, J-W-U. J yeah. J or J? G. <laughs> G-W-U. Um, it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> it's, it's all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, now we have um, a little bit of time in between, uh, unless our opponents are ready for the next match, which they could be. I'm not sure. Um, and maybe this team will want to do some friendlies, although it looks like we don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like oh, we don't, <laughs> so we're out. So yeah, we might be uh, we might be ready to uh, join another. Arena. Oh, I guess. So. Oh, okay. No, we are doing what? some friendlies. We have some time. Um, no one, no one joined from the code that was shown. Um, <laughs> Didn't give us enough time. Uh, uh, it's all right. We're good. We're solid. We, we, we coming back. I bet they probably want their other two people uh, oh, probably to, to get some play time. Or maybe other one person, maybe, if the... Um, oh, if the Wii Fit wasn't... Yeah, if the Wii Fit was not the Bayonetta. Right. Which... Maybe? We could... Uh, I'll, let, I'll let the floodgates open. I'll let, them, uh, I'll let the uh, posse out there. I'll let them uh, talk <laughs> to the team. Let them in. Welcome to the... the Hello there. Oh. That's yeah,
Uh, you just saw our, uh, lovable coach, um, uh, you just saw our lovable coach play some, uh, play some matches against their Meta Knight, who I assume was probably their fourth player. Yep. Um, yep. And now they got a Kirby coming out. A so. Kirby? Uh, we're also joined by Aiden Calderhead. A Aiden, uh, welcome to the stream. Well, thank um, you. It's good to be here. Yeah, so you, uh, got to see him, uh, play his Dark Samus not too long ago. Um, so what's the, uh, what's the game plan going in the next match? Um, I think focusing a little bit more on volley and quick movements. Um, okay. I've noticed a lot of times, I don't know if it was online or not, it just felt a little bit off. So just okay. being a little bit more on top of that to make sure that that's going to be a better thing movement-wise going forward. Oh, oh my up. gosh. Okay. Wow. Little Mac doing was, the Little Mac things. Little Mac is just... They don't have a lot right of things. Um, but, yep. uh... Oh, if Kirby's not careful here. Kirby is sending out random attacks, so Mike is just going to punch. <laughs> Kirby's not even playing right now. Let me uh, try and dial back on the uh, yep on the mic sensitivity there a little bit. And I'll uh, try and close the door. Thank you for the uh, oh up smash coming from Kirby. Yep. Shield is almost gone as we're playing because Kirby is trying up. Uh, Kirby is trying the normal combos. And Micah is just punching. Yep. <laughs> As Little Mac does. As Little Mac should. Because that is... Oh, man. Oh, shield is going low. Shield a Skittle. Yep. What's weird here is that Kirby can't shield for a little bit, so they're trying to stall. But oh. Yeah, caught him on it. Wow. Let's go. He had That's the, our coach right there. Yes. And he had the KO punch right off the bat, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I would love I would love to see uh, Micah go up against their Marth. That would be a, that'd, that'd be a, a fun matchup. matchup yeah. Because like the Marth thrived off of advantage state. Correct. Um, the like whenever Marth is playing against Caleb, yep. they struggled immensely just to like wow they have a they got quite wow. the roster of uh, of characters ready to ready to play or maybe they just are all busting out secondaries because they're like oh it's a little Mac. But then they're finding out, oh, it's a little Mac. Yep. One, go. It'd be cool to say. And going back to that Marth thing, like, Marth, besides just the advantage state, did not do that well in neutral, actually. Just was trying to play around and have a couple spacing options. But yeah. In general, when it came to shields and other stuff and approaches, did actually not, was not that creative. Like, uh, yeah, they were, like, especially against Caleb, um, like, they were, like, Oh man, Whoa, picking up the up B kill. But um but yeah, so like it was um it was definitely interesting to interesting to watch there. Yeah. Oh the armor coming through, getting a hefty eighty seven percent, ninety seven, yeah, two frame coming out through the uh through the Zelda um oh, oh. <laughs> Micah has now learned. He is not going to do that again. No, he is not. Oh, there it is. There's insane. a stock right there and a KO punch ready to go. Yep. You could say at the ready. So um, he's probably looking to try to see if they can get rid of it. Yep. Oh, they did. Getting that tumble. Yep, because there might need a roughly 30% to have a guaranteed KO oh, yeah. kill there. So. Is it uh, Zelda's weight class or? Approximately. Okay. Um, it's Partially. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. a stock like this is Micah another one to thrive off of the advantage state Yep. armoring through especially just like the unfamiliar in unfamiliarity of little Mac for a, a good chunk of the population that plays this game myself included what has <laughs> armor um, and what doesn't so we're at a nice 79% uh, on this Zelda but they are not giving up that's for sure yep and, Mike is just gonna and that's right it there. right there yeah. That is it. That's it. All right. Great job. Just Micah's just, just cleaning up. Absolutely. Cleaning up house. But he has not played against anyone that has actually 
played, played in the actual the, varsity, match. the actual varsity match. So we have a Bayonetta to see. We have a uh, we have a Marth to see. Yep. We yep. have a Wii Fit trainer. A Wii Fit trainer to see. I would yep. love to see that. That would be a great match. We Fit trainer. Oh, oh the Zelda's yeah. running it back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're like, no, I need this. That's what they said. And Micah is happy to dish it out once again. Absolutely. Getting the up air strings. Yep. This is a good opening combo from yep. Zelda. These up these are not like they're well. like it's funky because they like they hit it once and they're yeah. like, oh yes, this is this is the. I am very I'm yeah I I don't know what to say about this. Right, I know that he they're, what they're trying to do is at about sixty four percent just catch him because mm -hmm. if you can catch him, you're gonna hit him again on the second one and potentially get him killed. Yeah. Uh, getting oh, pale punch done and the knight effort. coming out. Oh, a little way way early there for the uh, for the iframes to. Uh, yeah, they're really playing around with the teleport. I mean, like I get they're trying to be unpredictable, but at the same time, um, you got to be careful with it. Yeah, it cannot be overused because if it is, oh, they they wanted that. Oh, oh. Micah, you know this. Oh, yep. Oh, the oh, tech! tech it. Wow. Oh my word. Ah, oh, not quite able to connect yeah. the second hit. Looking for just to just about anything. Yeah, honestly, just a good F smash would get kill here. Yeah. Maybe a down smash. Even, even I think. Oh, 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 there's the oh. teleport coming to bite yep. them. Or he could just stand there as <laughs> Zelda falls. As Zelda falls. <laughs> oh, but uh, forward air coming out there. Yes. Yeah, they're they're really. Uh, ah, yeah, there it is. That's what they wanted the whole yep. time. <laughs> <laughs> Micah going. Yeah. <laughs> I think Micah wants to run that one back. Absolutely. Yep, yeah. running it back. We're gonna get one He's more like, time. no, no. We are. We are. Not having any of this nonsense in here. It'll be interesting to see if the Zelda keeps up up these streams. I feel like I feel like they're gonna keep it up for this beginning portion, but yes. Mike is not gonna have any of it this time around. Yes. And then they're gonna be like, okay, well, I can't keep playing around like this. Yeah, I need to. At the end, I need the, to dial in. Yep. At the end of the day, if you ever see an up these starting, all you need to do is shield. You, yep. don't, you don't need to press advantage if you don't want it. Especially if they're being aggressive with it too, because Absolutely. they just have so much lag on it yep. um, that you can try and make something out of it. Oh, oh the two frames! Wow, beautiful. That was. I can't. Timing. I can't imagine the timing that is required for that, because like, unless you just got the the sound like dialed in, There's like ah, oh. uh, not quite able to connect with it there. Not quite. Oh, oh a shield it. break! It's gonna hit hard. <laughs> Straight into the corner. Yep, right in the blast zone. And all of a sudden, this Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the uh, the knight coming in. Taking Little Max stock, but that was only his. Uh, that's the first one he's lost. So, yep. um. oh, okay. Got to be careful here when you're just going for side B's next to the ledge because it puts you in this <laughs> yeah. state. Oh, they 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 want that. They're looking like, for it. This Zelda is weird because like I feel like they're just oh. oh so close up here. Th no. Like the yeah. <laughs> like it feels like. If, uh, so this is my guess. Yep. This Zelda, like, plays against their team a lot, Probably. and they're able to do that a lot in yep. their uh, against their teammates. And they're like, "Oh, this this is just how I can play Zelda." Oh, he oh, got no! the counter! <laughs> wow. <laughs> he how said no, you? thank you. A knight's a smash attack and everything. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. The perfect timing. Micah, what do you have to say? What do you have to say about this? Oh, man, that was amazing. <laughs> I, that, that move has 
one thirtieth of a second of super armor where if they hit me, I don't take the knockback and they smacked into it and then I punched through the knight into them and it's just a dream come true in a Zelda fight. Just to, get, just to get that triple activation of slow mo real quick. Oh lord, that was that was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They wanted to they want to do a best five out of seven right there. Is what they're looking at. All right, I think someone else is hopping in here. Is Dylan yeah, hopping yeah, in? Yeah, double time's about to happen. Double, double time. Double mode. Okay, probably Luigi here. I'm guessing. I'd imagine. Man, that. What a beautiful match. Oh my gosh. We gotta clip that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, clip it. <laughs> clip it, Katie. It's probably way too late for that now, but we have it on film. Yep. So it happened. Micah can treasure this moment forever. Yep. Hold it in his heart. We have this on video, Micah, so you can forever treasure yep. this. Amazing. Got Luigi. That was fun. That was a good run. Yeah. Like, it was amazing. I was, as I, uh, during that match, I was saying, I feel like that Zelda has had a lot of time playing against their team. Yeah. And, like, they're able to do that a lot to their, like, the up, the, the, yeah, just the, yeah, the offensive. Canceling. Yeah, like, they're like, oh, I can do this against my team members. I can, I can do this in yeah. a normal match. So. It took until, like, the second game to start hitting them, and I was caught off guard. Anyway. Right, yeah. Yep. And I mean, if you can land that lightning kick out of it, it's it's strong. Oh my goodness! I'm surprised. Like, oh, is it only wow. on platform that you can do that, or is it just you have to be in free fall? You, yeah, you can do it off edge. Too. Dylan, we like say like hi a, to you back. You like see a, that your PC is being dumb. The ledge guarding option. Uh, maybe just use your smartphone and let it be smart. Just saying. And an early kill for the Zelda here with oh, wow. 24 seconds. <laughs> Those of you that have not been able to see Dylan, which is probably most of you on the stream, uh, he's pretty good, but he's also um, pretty like new to competitive. Yes. So he doesn't have a ton of natural experience with a lot of characters. Yeah. Like, and that, and that's where we come into play. Yep. That's uh, we can uh, we can teach him the the matchups. We can. Uh, our goal is to refine him through the fire. So. He's got decent adaptation naturally. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so you can see him kind of falling out. You know, mixed up his play style already. Yep. Yep. Would you like a seat, Micah? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, picking up a stock. Good up the combo there, for a confirm. That one's that one's tough because you can di it, but like it, it's pretty hard. Uh, and this Zelda, I, I di it really well the one time. Oh, the there's a stock. Let's nice. go, oh, Dylan. Yeah. All right. Okay. Like he has familiarity with the Luigi combos. If yes. you can hit them, then like he does fantastic. Absolutely. Um, but if he can't. Then he struggles in right. the disadvantage state. That, that's where the matchup knowledge happens. Is yep. Because right? yes. different styles of approaches to try to initiate these combos. Yep. For Luigi, it's all about the approach, and if the approach isn't quite working for a given matchup, then he's a little bit in dead water. Yeah. His creative options are subpar, but mm. that's also an area of Dylan's game that he can improve a lot. Right. Because he's done a lot of, lot of sweat and tears into, I mean, into sweat <laughs> <laughs> into learning maybe Luigi's blood. Combos. You know, he's got them down. Yeah, maybe blood. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, nice oh catch. Okay. wow. Okay, Fine. we're at fifty-eight percent. We can created. run this back. Random half smash. I'll yeah. Oh, is the fire catching here? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Really? Okay. We not. With it, yeah. Oh, oh the unfortunate. Tech, but not yep. bad, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Jinx. <laughs> Darn it. I owe you a soda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan Riffle, I don't want to uh, not acknowledge the message that Katie sent on your behalf. So, hello and welcome. Uh, I don't know how long you've been uh, watching us, but uh, thank you for uh, tuning in to see the legacy. Absolutely. And we uh, have about 15 minutes till the uh, next match should be starting. I wasn't sure how many friendlies we would do. I mean, they, they were the ones... Um, the other team that we're going to play tonight were the ones that, excuse me, they're the ones that uh, chose the time for 8.30. Yep. So I'd imagine they probably wouldn't be available earlier than that. Oh, there's a little bit of a shield standoff there. A little bit of an early parry coming out from the uh, from the Zelda. And Dylan is, uh, he's ready to play his game. Absolutely. A tornado coming out. Like... Dylan, like wow. like Micah was saying, Dylan's great at adaptation. So if he's seen you play, like he can, he's he's picking up on it, and yep. he's and he's able to uh, capitalize. Absolutely. So like, he hasn't gotten even hit yet. Like that's yep. like, it's very impressive. Yep. And he's finding places where the Zelda is starting to roll in. Which yep. Is allowing him to get his up smash. Oh, through. and roll oh behind, grab back throw. That's what we like to see. Yes, sir. 
He's only taken five percent damage. Okay, well fourteen. Okay, <laughs> commentator's, so commentator's curse. curse yep. But. What are you gonna do? Happens uh, all the time. Probably no. We'll see. Is the Zelda about to pull a victory? <laughs> Literally, the commentator's curse is not purposeful. <laughs> well, uh, I see that the. Oh, good grab. But it, like it's such a funky grab because like, I I. Lucas also has a tether grab, but yes. I never think to use it off stage like that. I don't right. know what it is, but just, oh, saving that jump. Good job. Well done. Luigi has a high jump. Luigi jumps I guess it's a the, lot higher than you think. Yeah, I guess it's... His, his up oh, he's clinking well. with it again. Look at him. Yeah. He has a really good magnet. Yeah. If you can find it. Oh. He wanted it. He did want it. Oh, oh but too high of a percent. Okay. Interesting. The Zelda has been playing a lot less of its up game. Yeah, games. like they're like, oh, I need to dial in because he's not playing around this time. But yeah. the iframes going straight in for a grab, and we're gonna see the little uh, flame charge coming out here. Yeah. No, the the knight to go under the underneath the stage, but he's got to be careful. Okay, perfectly played. Well played. Using the oh iframes. man, so oh. close to breaking a shield too. Oh, that was creative. That, like, good stuff. So this is what we like. This is what we're gonna see. Oh, uh, up B catching him, but that was just his first stock. Yes. Like, on oh, the Zelda's finding not here. He's getting out of combos. Look at this. We like the to Zelda see. is playing a lot more aggressively right yes. now. They have something to play for. Oh. oh. What a shame. Man, I'm calling commentators first person. <laughs> <laughs> Well played, Dylan. Absolutely. And not the Dylan Riffle who is in here. Not to say that you didn't play well uh, when you played, but uh, we have a new Dylan now. Yes. So you yes. have been replaced. He does have an O in his name, so. It's <laughs> yeah, really, it's slightly different. Yeah, it's, it's like Dylan 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Further down the alphabet, Absolutely. so advanced. Yep, yep. They're going for a best two out of three by the look of it. It appears so. And with 10 minutes to go from the next match, I guess we're probably going to check out first. Probably. Soon. We might see the last. Get a little bit of warm here. up in. Yep. Yep. He's finding these yeah. things. And I think it seems like he's liking Hollow Bastion. Um, uh, just, that was the last stage we played on before. Right. I don't, don't think we just ended the stage, but. But, like, I like with the. Oh! Oh! oh what? Well. What is this? That such a lo like I was like I did, we saw the uh, Zelda tech something earlier. What well, I thought I at least I thought we did. So uh, I don't know. I didn't um, see it. Oh, oh, not oh. quite able to do it. Yeah. Oh, that will do it though. Running good edge guard. Yes. Which is good, but you have to time that just at the end to get the clink. Yep. And he's done it two games in a row. Yes. But uh, not we'll see if we'll. Oh, and that and this Zelda the this, like the Zelda like. The Zelda has knowledge wow, of like okay. a couple different tech. Oh, picking up an early stock. Or maybe it wasn't early. I don't know what the oh, percent was. Um, but uh, closing the gap there. Wow, they are just they like nailing these. Yeah, spots. I feel like uh, the Zelda is also heavily taking advantage of uh, Hollow Bastion, um, using that middle platform to just uh, get some funkiness going. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Yep. Uh, the dash attack. The dash attack lasts a long time, but if you don't hit it, then it's such a detriment. Oh, and the parry coming Good out. Parry I have no idea if that was intentional, but yep. man, was it great. And the grab not quite getting it right. Yeah. Here. This Zelda's playing very on top of it right now. They are not spacing like they were before. Ooh. I feel it, like now that they have the stock advantage, like yes. they're like, oh, I can, I can. Just press for it. Yep. Yeah. Right here, if you grab. Yep. That's a back throw. And then if he hits it here. Oh, oh not quite. You hit the clink. Oh my goodness. Not quite able to get the uh, same spiking uh, that we saw earlier, but that. Oh, oh not just quite able percentage. to get that. Um, but if uh, if Dylan gets a nice grab here, then we'll probably see a see a kill. Yep. To see. Oh, oh, not quite able to connect it. Sweet spot would have killed it right yep, there. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yep, oh, there it is. Curse. Commentator's curse. <sighs> Such power. What do yep. you do with it? <laughs> 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 I've uh, it, it. We've tried to use it uh, in our favor, but you know what are you gonna do? Abs yeah. All right, it looks like uh, Micah has sat back down now, and we will probably be uh, either there will be one more friendly, but I'd be surprised since it's like six till. Yes. So, um, so yeah, um, we have uh, 
your match coming up here. Um, Red round we'll, two. Yeah, let's we'll see. Um, it is the University of the Cumberlands or something like that. Okay. That is their that is their name. I think they are based out of Kentucky. Okay. Um, another small private Christian university. Uh, Micah looked it up earlier, so that's how I know. Oh, that's um, cool because I would have no clue. Yeah, I was like, where <laughs> is that? Yep. So. But well played by George Washington University. Yes. Um, now we uh, will be moving into the next match here shortly. So, And this time around, I'm going to uh, hide the the ID and code being put in from all the viewers that might want to stream snipe us here. Good choice. Good choice. Um, so, uh, Dylan, we're having our eyes on you. <laughs> Katie, you too. <laughs> Okay, we got. Uh, if this, if th I don't know if this is the accurate uh, count of how many people are watching us right now, but um, it's quite a few, quite a few people. Absolutely, so we take that. Yeah. Feel free to say hi in the chat if you're here. Love to, love to ha converse with you. All right, and I'm being called back in. You're I mean being called back in. Yep, and I will also grab my dinner because I did not eat dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised I didn't see you at the calf. Yeah, I don't have an appetite before this. Oh, okay. Get over here! <laughs> Aiden, where'd you go? He's uh, he's he's getting so his dinner. Can that uh, uh, what, what's happening? Oh, sure. I'll get on hoorah moment. I'll be right back. Hoorah moment has ended. Um, hello, Braden. What up? Would you like to take a seat? I guess. Join in the commentary. We have uh, Braden hopping in here. We got an incorrect password by the look of it. I have the uh, image crazy. muted. Not muted. That's the wrong word. I have it. Uh, uh, it is hidden so that all of our uh, all of our uh, audience here isn't. Um, <laughs> that's two incorrect passwords here. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I don't like that name. Yeah, I, I, don't like, I, don't, I don't I don't like that either. Very good job against the Zelda. Oh, thank you. It was beautiful matches to see. Th kind of threw the third one, but... Uh, you know? The, I didn't think the Zelda could do anything. I thought the Zelda was stuck after she did the up. Like, I, yeah, I'm, I think it was, platform like... Canceled. Yeah, the platform. Like, that's... I was okay. <laughs> Dylan Riffle says hi. <laughs> Yes, Dylan, Dylan apparently is having PC problems, but he is here, present with us in the chat. Um, apparently we have the wrong password or something, because uh, we've uh, put this bad boy in like four times now, and we have not joined. Um, so, potential technical difficulties. Um, so That's really an average Dylan moment. <laughs> not even going to lie. Oh, they have to reconnect new, all the controllers. New controller That's connecting. Right. Yeah, because when Dylan um, needed to connect. There were too many at the time or something? Yeah, yeah there was like... Everybody's six, controller was six, in six. on the action. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Micah's was in. I'm going to try and deafen the mics a little bit more, just in case. We'll go at uh, <laughs> five, three and a half-ish. Wow. There we go. Precision. All right. Let's see this password. Oh, oh. Is it happening, ladies and gentlemen? I do believe it is. No, is this mic so far because of you? Yeah. All right. We are in. How? Uh, you like, just pull the arm. Pull just like. I'm afraid. Uh, if you grab the base down here. That makes more sense. And then you just. Yeah. And this, this also <laughs> tilts as well. So you can. Oh. Move that as you need to. So. No, uh, that is your name. Yeah, but I'm not. 
being foolish. <laughs> my, my name is John. I have, operate, <laughs> I, have, I have operated under you being Noah for the past how many months? I would be really embarrassed if it wasn't the case. Bro, awesome. Let's see it. Oh, Bro, <laughs> it's good to get it out now. I nice. hope that they made. I hope that with the order they made Austin yes. go first. Hmm? I hope that the order is actually just Austin first, and he's going to the restroom right now. Yeah, I think Stall. that <laughs> stalling with the actual stalls. Am I right? Oh, um, oh. Ah. oh but um, but yeah, so we are now up against uh, UC because they don't want to uh, spell it University of the Cumberlands in the title of their uh, in the title of their lobby. That, so that's very smart. MU versus UC. Let's see it happen. Um, I believe we have uh, Austin McIntyre who'll be up first potentially. Otherwise, I feel like we would have uh, picked already. Um, but. Uh, <coughs> Let's uh, let's see it happen. I'm, I'm all about it. We've had we've seen some great matches today. What does Austin play in in competition? Does he play Ike? Um, he has in the past. Um, I, I feel like he should today. I know um, he's but we'll, out here just we'll see. smashing heads with like me sword fighter, me yeah, brawler, like and he he <laughs> he has right. been a, a me player for some time, but. I don't think I've ever... Well, to be honest, I haven't seen him play in competition a lot since I'm typically streaming. Yeah. So I don't get to see what he actually plays. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, we will find out tonight, won't we? I never want to say it when I'm actually fighting against him because I know it'll come out wrong, but his <laughs> play style is so annoying, um, which is a testament to his skill. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> the, uh, like, Austin has moments... Of like utter shine through glory, where he'll like just do something <laughs> like out of nowhere and like oh great job, and then um, and then he'll end off the match by accidentally SDing. So like <laughs> yep. there, it's just like there's there's a give and take there, but you know we'll uh, we'll get there. He so, doesn't so. do that with me. I'm too much of a novice. Oh, I okay. SD first. <laughs> <laughs> high risk, high reward. Yeah. Ah, uh, see Some now they're game. stressed out. They're like oh I've been I've been waiting in the arena too long. They're getting cold feet. It's like. Yeah. They're like a groom standing at the altar. Their bride is <laughs> yet waiting. to show. Oh, but we oh, have it's Andy. Never Andy mind. coming in. Oh, man. Must have been deliberating on stage. Apparently. Um, so I'm curious to see what they got. Deliberating on stage, and they haven't changed it, so. Yes, they have not. What? Well, oh. you might have clicked too far over. I feel like that's what happened. Uh, oh, doing lag test. Stage lag test. test. Lag test. Lag test. Lag test. Nice. They should do it on live. 75M. Great game offensive. No, <laughs> no fun. Creed Man 02. <laughs> <laughs> they got quite the names. They do. <laughs> we repping the O. Oh. 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 Their it's Noel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Noel, thank you for joining. Sudden transfer. Yeah. Noel <laughs> drove over <laughs> to wherever Cumberlands is. He's in Kentucky, if I am if I'm correct. He might have been able to make it that far. <laughs> really fast. Yeah. You can get anywhere if you're really fast. Yep. Um. Do you know? That's it's true. Um. The uh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it happened. It happened. I know. It happened in the past. Um, so, uh, do you know if they've picked Kazuya as their pick or? Um, no, we do that stage supposed to like move while floating in the air, back and forth? Yeah. Intriguing. Comes in now, right? At least, at least for a time, and then it like fully goes out, and then. Other platforms come in. I always get so Town and City and Smashville mixed up in terms of like. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I, can't. I also get them mixed yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. They have different platforms, but I think they function the same way. Town, Town and City's City larger. And, they move and they're like, yeah, they, they, oh, they come in from the sides. And doesn't Smashville, like, there's the middle platform that kind of like. Oh, and just kind of. Yes. What, what are they doing there? Okay. I literally just saw it, but I wasn't paying attention. But that's okay. 
of Good all luck. of all games to have two stages competitively legal, Animal Crossing. Um, hmm. And we're actually going Smashville. Here it is. Now we can confirm our suspicions. Um, Creed Man might actually be a spectator potentially. Um, I'm thinking so. Um, so they could essentially like uh, if we if we uh, did things differently and we didn't have a capture card, uh, we would have to have a different switch um, join the lobby. Oh. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen that animation in my entire life. I haven't either. That is bonkers. <laughs> Hit me up. All right, and this is approximately the third time that Andy has called Ganondorf. <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah, you know, he wanted to be sure. I I feel like they're... I, do we... Are we expecting the Kazuya? Is that what we're... I, I feel like that they no. are. You're not. You're not expecting mm. Kazuya. Okay. Oh. Kazuya. <clears throat> Foolish of me to not expect it. I guess it makes sense. I was thrown off. The other team also did not pick the character that they uh, were actually going to do. But all right. I hate Kazuya. Let's uh, let's see it. Oh, he's oh, he's he's ready. The combo's on. Okay. Both players kind of figuring each other out a little bit. Um, Kazuya um, getting some damage off real quick. Nice 68%. Point six. Ooh. We round that up. <laughs> what significant figure do you guys round to? Uh, the point zero .09. Ah. <laughs> but, uh, ooh. Oh my this God. Kazuya is getting the damage off. Um, but <clears throat> yet to pick up a kill. Commentator curse? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet over oh. the course of the stream or just in the past 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Oh, I see. Uh, it's happened several times in the friendlies. Um, but... Like, I'm surprised he's not using many of the strong things that Kazuya does. But you know what? We take that nonetheless! Take Let's go, Andy! Get in the boot. This is a weird match. Like I'm very unused to Kazuya. Oh, like man, he was ready. He was ready to schmoove. Do it. Oh, okay. Wow. Get up, attack. I'm very not used to Kazuya actually taking time between his attacks. Yeah, I yeah know. I'm used to that. But he's living. 224 against a Kazuya. Andy, Andy, is Andy, Andy be living. Yes, Andy he is. is attempting the oh, there it is. Right there it is. At 224, you ain't living through much. Um, but we're on a new stock. 77. Oh, and there's a there forward smash to pick up the kill. See, now this is some Andy Johnson gameplay. I've come Absolutely. To expect. The Bayonetta was really not a good matchup. Yeah, the Bayonetta's a rough one, especially for Ganon. Um, is there but, a way uh, for him to like di out of that combo? Or I think is he. he just stuck I, th in it? I think no, so due to Ganondorf's just... size, uh, uh, you're talking about Kazuya, right? For Ganon, for Andy to like get out of that ten hit combo. I think he was at too low of a percentage and physically too large that he. I don't think he could have. Maybe. He, and there's again a forward smash picking up the stock. Great job, Andy. Great job, Andy. Going in the next match, two stocks. We take that. Andy's ready. He got really shut down in the last match. He's yes, he is. Out for blood He's like, time. all right, time to play the Ganondorf game. That Kazuya was very interesting. Like, like you said, Braden, I was. I'm expecting the the uh, the the Kazuya to be a lot more like in your face aggressive. Not that they weren't, but like. I didn't see many smash attacks. I didn't no. see many of like the standard kill options other than the back throw at 224. But pretty much any throw other than like a forward throw on the opposite side of the stage was going to kill. So um, so yeah, that's um, 
that's quite the uh, quite the match. So looks like we're doing some stage bands and deliberating right now, but um, we'll see who they got next. What's your gut telling you? Who's it going to be? Um, Dark Pit. Uh. Call him Dark Pit. Hmm. Calling a dark pit. Game I, and watch. Uh, Game and watch. Not too long. All right, uh, Noah. Who who are you expecting for for them to pull out here? Incineroar. Incineroar. Incineroar? Okay. I want, I want the big boys. The large, the largest, the slowest and largest yes. of the boys. The kind of Kazuya. Yes. Like so. that. That was a very interesting Kazuya. Like I'm not quite sure how I feel about the gameplay there. Like I, I think that. Uh, it was probably them. I don't know. It, it seemed like a, like a new character for them. Yeah. Or uh, uh, like uh, unfamiliarity with season. kill moves. Yeah. Like right. right. That's and not being able to secure those stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, interesting game but you know what we got two stocks going to the next game so i have no complaints here ladies and gentlemen that's right we move yes we do we move on all right i'm ready for this next match to start there's a lot of deliberating going on here i don't know if uh if it's a character pick or if it's a stage pick um i think at this point we're probably waiting on our opponents but uh yeah so we'll see what's what you know what i think it is i think they're waiting on us oh yeah yeah we've really got to get in there and <laughs> get going. uh if you guys could hurry it along please um that'd be great guys come on. going to feels battlefield like, feels like a tuesday out here at 841 <laughs> 841 on a thursday i didn't sign up for this Mike. it feels like a thursday to me i was telling them it felt like the weekend I'm not prepared to go to classes tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I finished off. I'm in an intro to drawing online course. I finished off my drawing earlier. I spent like two hours at a park drawing the landscape. Nice. nice. And I finished it and then came here. And somehow that's not the end of my week. <laughs> <laughs> How many classes do you have tomorrow? Only one. Okay. Yeah, we take okay. that. What time? 12. Oh, Physics. You're, you're set. I work from 10 to 12, technically. Oh, well. oh. Good oh, versus evil. The cannon match. Let's see it. On Battlefield. And they're doing Twilight <laughs> Princess Link. They know what's up. Oh, they do. They said. Andy should no, be scared. No Zelda music. PG-13 friend. All right. <laughs> Starting out with a bomb game. Andy was 100% right earlier. We were practicing, and Caleb and Aiden were practicing, and they wanted to switch it up. <laughs> and Andy said, I should probably go up against Caleb. And he and was 1,000% right. Look at that. Oh! oh! Man, I was ready for it. I was so ready. I wanted a shield break. I did too. Oh, that wow. angle. Wow. Okay. Oh, not quite able to connect with the, uh, with the free fall there on the link. But this link is, they got projectile game. Um, Let's see if they can uh, close in some other stuff. Right. Actually, I'm nice curious, parry. I'm curious about the rules. So, would would Caleb be able to play the game? Yes. Oh, it's okay. uh, so long as it's on a different team. Yes. Okay. That would be wild. Because I was just like, wait a second. Dark character. This okay. is this is like uh, this link is being a little. Early, and Andy's having a little bit of, of trouble uh, nailing a hit on him, um, but I'm like, that's all it nice. takes right there. I was about to say, like uh, one, one, uh, one quick move, and that could. Oh, what? Oh, weird. Whoa. Yeah, the um, oh, so close. The first hit of forward air sends it like backwards. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, look at that. Wow. See, like, oh, uh, they really worked that bomb. Uh, not quite. Um, but uh, Caleb, uh, like, Caleb did really great with. Oh, nice. nice. We take that. Uh, Caleb. Oh, not quite able to get that read off. But Caleb did great 
with his bomb gameplay, but I feel like he could take a, a note or two from this Link because the the Link is not doing consistent like bomb maneuvers. Like they are very in oh a shield oh. break. Oh, hit him, Andy! Oh, yes, yeah. the reverse warlock that's punch. Awesome. That's what we talk about here at Malone University Esports. We talk about shield breaks and reverse warlock punches. We got a shield break, Andy. Or not Andy, a Aiden. I mean, Andy did get the shield break, but I was trying to tell you that we got a shield break on this link and we got a reverse warlock punch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, Andrew, as you were saying. Uh, yeah, so... Um, what about this link not being consistent? Like, uh, like, but that's a good thing though. Like, yes, they're yes, they're yes. being very, they're being very. In oh, oh wow. wow! Letting go of shield. Very I mean, like, that's something I do. Like, man, not that, like, it's just like. A <laughs> Andy just walked over there and he was like, "What are you gonna do there, <laughs> bud? You gonna move?" <laughs> <laughs> I feel like his shield wouldn't have taken it though either. Like, it probably wouldn't have. But he could have spot dodged or something, like rather I'm, than just outright let go of shield. I'm thinking what he probably tried to do was jump. I, I imagine that's what that. I, that's what yep. is going through my mind. Right. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Yep. He's waiting too long. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, I wasn't ready for this. Help! Help! Yep. Help. <laughs> and he got sent to the blast zone for it. Yes, Great job, Andy. Yeah, Andy. Give, he's on on track for the Johnson special. <laughs> yes, he is. He's down. He's only lost one, or has he lost two? He's lost two. two okay. Socks, he's lost two. He has one per six. game. Yes. He he's, works in the clutch. Yes, he does. When Andy, like he's Andy, has snowball. He like if he if he can warm up his, himself to get an advantage state on uh, on his opponent, he he just kind of plows through Goes with it, um, right. but he needs to get there first and if we can if we can dial in his snowball effect to to like uh more confidence right off the bat mm -hmm. then i feel like that uh will be a good like that would be a better execution of andy johnson right I kind of feel that same way. Every yep. time I load into a game, even if I'm playing someone for like the 10th time in a row and they have played the same character, every single start is always more timid <laughs> than midway yeah. through the game, it feels like. Yeah, I mean, like, it, there, you get the cold feet. It happens. You like, don't want to get hurt. No, but they're going to hurt you. And with you Andy gotta, especially, everything for Ganon seems like a hard commit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Said. It is the uh, wholehearted gameplay. And I was very proud of Andy. He did not knock that link off of platform after shield break. Um, like I was like, all right, Andy's been in this situation before. He's been a little too afraid to go up and do things because he's afraid to knock someone off of platform for them to uh, regain uh, mobility of their character. But um, but he's just like, all right, I'm gonna jump up on this platform and I'm gonna reverse warlock punch this man into the blast zone. Right. He he played it smart by yes, also he did. like. Pushing him just like a little yep. bit with, with big body again. <laughs> and then said, all right. Let's do it. <laughs> Heard you like nuts. <laughs> Hit him with a greeting. <laughs> <laughs> Small battlefield, I heard it. I heard it through the glass. Mm. I did not hear it through the glass. I did not either. <laughs> we have bad ears. <laughs> I blame band. That'll do it. I also have bad eyes. I that's also just, have bad eyes. That's just birth, though. Yeah, same. I I've know. I've worn glasses since third grade. I've it's needed them great. since before that. Oh yeah. I think yeah. So uh, I. What I, what my context clues are telling me is you have contacts in right now. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> you would think that, and I should, Ooh, but I don't. Uh, Meta Knight. I need to go to an eye doctor and get a new prescription, actually. Because my right eye is actually 
2020 or almost 2020 at this point. Gotcha. It's getting more and more strained as the years go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's picking up the slack for the left eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess it's true. Like what, the focus. majority of what I see is my right eye. I've noticed. I close my eye and that's like everything I'm normally seeing. Hmm. And then my left eye, I can see basically periphery, and that's it. Mm. Okay, this Meta Knight is uh, making a, a. Oh, I was I was fully ready for Ganon just to tank through that. Oh, okay, trying to get the trying to get the uh, the the aerial carry off from Meta Knight. Um, that's something I have not seen too often. Oh, rolling Ooh. into it. Oh, okay, that oh, might be it right there. Oh, no! he's living! He, oh, oh. Man, if he would have been able to, like, just for a second, like, make it last a little bit longer, then we could have gotten a stock off on that Meta Knight. Right, if he upbeat the other way, he would have taken the stock because Meta Knight was in free fall yeah. after, after that move. Man. Oh, that's I don't funny. know if I've ever seen a Meta Knight go off stage for a neutral B, uh, I mean, it makes sense. It has a pretty solid knockback, but I don't know if I've ever seen them actually like use it in a match, so. But, uh, moving on to the next character. Let's see, uh, I feel like, I feel like Austin's gonna take the stage. I think so. Very well played, Andy. Very yes, well absolutely. Sure. Oh, Caleb. Caleb. Caleb coming in. Caleb was actually who I least expected. I expected Austin or Aiden. He's going. Oh, Dark Link. Scary. Is he going to the dark side? We have a dark oh. Meta Knight. So oh. We get, oh, not it's quite. It's almost spooky season. Oh. It is almost. <gasps> oh, he is. Oh, is He's season. bringing in Halloween early, ladies and gentlemen. I am quaking in my boots. <laughs> in your slides. In my slides, yes. Your SpongeBob Patrick, and Patrick. SpongeBob and Patrick oh, slides. Yeah. You can tell how I walk where I put on my tent. <laughs> where I put. The majority That's of what the inside weight. of these shoes look like. Yep. It is a very well-defined outline of my foot. It's lovely. These shoes, uh, these shoes have seen better days. And I've started to notice a weird, like, I don't know if the like leather's peeling up right here, but it's like orange right here. Oh. And I don't know if that's dust or what. I've tried to like wipe it off a little bit, but it, it might be peeling. Yeah, I think it's probably peeling. It's time for these bad boys to uh, retire. They're very comfortable. And I like them. They've uh, they've seen some use. the The toe specifically has uh, uh, it does not have its sheen anymore. But you know what? It did its job. It did I its job. I want to get some barefoot shoes. Oh, oh yeah. Like the that like it's like a it's like a kind of rubber. They're like, like tuck they're your toes low and in. wide. Oh. Okay. They don't tuck your toes in. Oh, no. Okay. So I thought you were actually... talking about like a, a shoe that is like your foot. Yeah. No. You, like, no. No. Okay. Like Okay, no, that's not what you were talking about. It's like they're low and wide, and they don't have as much like actual support in the shoe mm -hmm. to simulate like walking barefoot. From mm -hmm. what I've understood, okay. I could be lying, and it's actually the opposite. <laughs> Either way, oh. they simulate essentially walking barefoot, so that your feet will get the strength that we're supposed to have okay. naturally, but we don't have because we wear shoes that don't fit us Come, and also yeah. have a lot of padding cushion and, and yeah, support. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I saw Caleb pick the Legend of Zelda theme song going into Final Destination here. Um, and it, is, it was not that. It ended up being Final Destination. But you know what? We that take that nonetheless. This will be an interesting matchup. I think that the Meta Knight might struggle a little bit against the projectiles that uh, Caleb has. What is um, Meta Knight from? Uh, Kirby. Kirby. If you if you were to rip off Meta Knight's mask, he looks like the black Kirby skin. Yes. Ah. Which I'm pretty sure that's where that's from. Oh, Ooh. interesting stage spike. This Meta Knight has like, you it, it maybe not unique tech, but interesting tech. That was a good little projectile game there from Caleb. You know, speaking um, of techs, I'm noticing that all of us need to practice landing techs. Yeah when getting hit while off stage Ooh. right into the stage because that happened to me i think twice while fighting the marth 
Oh, that's oh, okay. He would just come off and hit me, and I would hit stage and it's, have a chance. It's, but it is such. It's a very tight window, yeah. especially against Marth, because it comes out so fast. Right. Oh, so close. The option that that Marth is doing against you, very It's probably one of the fastest options in the game. When, when it comes to stage spiking like that, yes. Oh, so close. Oh, oh, oh. He was able to get an air dodge off. But picking up a kill with the up B. This Meta Knight has been uh, a solid player. I was not ready for it. Meta Knights are. Oh, okay. Is his up B what he does out of shield sometimes that has so much end lag? Uh, Caleb's? Yeah. So, like, it only, like, if they shield it, it only hits the very first hit, and and uh, Caleb is stuck in it. Um, a good, good, oh, but, man, that Meta Knight is ready. He's, like, he's, uh... Well, that might be a kill. Not quite. But this Med Knight has good. Uh, oh, good use of the good use of the boomerang to protect yourself there, Caleb. He's like, I'm not letting this Meta Knight get off stage and uh, do the shenanigans against me. <laughs> oh, that's a kill. Back air. I'm confident Caleb can pick up a kill though. 98. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Over a hundo. Ah. Uh, I was ready for some slick bomb gameplay, oh, and there it is, oh, neutral air. Oh, it was forward air. Yeah, that was, that was forward. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, no! He had his jump too. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, no. Oh. He did not mean to throw out the boomerang. I know that. Or at least I feel like that that was the situation. Right, he was probably trying to upbeat. Yeah. Maybe. Like, just to get quickly back up so the Meta Knight wouldn't have any opportunities to do anything. Right. Very close match. Well fought. Now I feel like... Austin, I feel like it's going to be Austin, but I feel like Aiden is taking the stage now. Just because that is what I don't think is happening. Mm -hmm. I think it's Austin. I think you're probably right. Because I can see Aiden right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're right. I wanted to say Austin. Oh, he's, he's throwing in the he going in. Fighter. We'll see if Mike has anything to say about that. <laughs> Get off of there. <laughs> Get off of there. I mean, like, to be honest, against a Meta Knight, it probably is the better pick. Um, True. Uh, for, uh, instead of Ike. Right. I mean, um, Ike? I it's mean, like, fine. it could go either way. Like... It could have the Ganondorf effect where it's like, oh, one solid smash attack and that little metal blob is out of here. Right. Or it's going to be Gimp Central. like. Right. And, I mean, Met Knight doesn't have, I mean, has quite a few tools to, to Gimp. Mm -hmm. uh, but from the way that Meta Knight was playing, uh, they would probably uh, just try to secure quality kills. So I, I wouldn't see too much too much giving okay. on the other side. Okay. Well, the character has been picked, so we will uh, we will see how it goes. I'm so sad that those bottom three slots are not, not like, they're either filled. not filled or they, they, they could have just centered, like, they could have just centered it <laughs> in the bottom. Right. But, you know, here we are. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't either. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, you'll never unsee it. Dang. Thank you. That's this the you know type what, of though? commentary you get from Mon University Esports. Nah, it stream. feels like much needed blank space. <laughs> yeah. You you like the blank space? If it were not those, those are what help me center myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> you by the lack of centering you find the center. Yeah. In you in yourself. Like every time I look at the stage selection, my eye is drawn down there and then I go up and then towards the middle. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's actually more like down there, then up to Battlefield, then to like around the PS2 area, and then I search to the bottom left and okay. the rest of the left side because that's all just too much. There's too much green and blue. There is a lot of green. Like in the everything stage there selection. could be one stage. <laughs> Specifically from 
Uh, Green Path or whatever, Sonic's... Uh, Son uh, Green Hill Zone. Green Hill Zone. Yeah. The There's three a lot of green. right beside it. Yep. They could all go together. In it's my just mind. One big it's, uh... Yeah. The stage right next to Sonic's... Oh. It looks Mar... It's Mario? I think it's Mario. Oh, uh, no, to the right. Uh, sorry. Um... Mario well I know That's the one after that for sure is Mario right. um, I think, I think and then I think it's Paper Mario to the right of that one mm. I feel like it's I don't know yeah I think it's it, it definitely looks like Mario. Peach's Castle in the background I think of that stage Kalos, Kalos. I like this stage. stage good stage definitely Austin's choice because I think it's his favorite you know what I think you're right Oh, they're scared. I do not I got like the cold feet. You don't? I think it's because the platforms are off the stage, so I can't do anything if people go up there. Oh, right, because it's like a little too high up. Yeah. For, like, any they're pretty high. From from like the smash attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. One of my could you up smash maybe? Like, does it like barely ever so slightly? Like the, the your crown? Across, like, right. yeah. Maybe. 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 They're also high stages, I think. Like high Yeah, platforms. it is. It, so I can't, I can't just throw out an up tilt yeah. and hit through if I'm remembering right. Maybe I'm completely wrong. And I just don't like Kalos because they're not more in the stage. It's also a very high ceiling. That's um, also... Which I like to well, they're, uh They're definitely using the platforms to, to their advantage. Oh, he was trying to go for yes, it. Yes, he was. All right, Austin. Let's uh, let's recenter here. You Get go. your own up up air strings or just up tilt strings. That tornado is one of the moves <laughs> that, is, that I hate the most. It, it sets up into the Yeah. It has such a weird like amount of time that you're unable to do anything. Like right. it feels like oh, feels like you should be able to do so much more. But now I feel like this Meta Knight has picked up on the fact that he did that counter into into uh, into his potential smash attack so I feel like uh, this Meta Knight is going to adapt accordingly and he's going to catch Austin with that oh that was almost a clink oh we're living we living yeah he wanted it not quite Austin's gotten just like a <laughs> yes he did Austin's gotten like a couple little hits here and there he's just I guess not able Grab. Grab. He tried. He, yes, he he tried yes, he did. Yes, he did. After you were saying grab. Ooh, <laughs> the parry. Yeah, very good parry. Oh, oh no. okay. I've never seen that. I'm about it. Not in this moment. Right. But, um, oh, uh, he's at uh, over 100. If uh, Austin can clean this up, then uh, oh, not quite. Kind of similar to Link, not able to uh, connect multiple hits on that. Good job, Austin, getting out of that. Way to parry. Oh. We're at 104. We got this. Keep your stock. Keep your cool. Oh, this is... Yeah, he was ready. He's like, okay, I'm going to take advantage of this right here, right now. Oh, good job. 111. All right, we got this. Come on. Let's see it. Oh. Was that his counter? Yes. Yeah. Oh! Meta Knight's very fast. Austin has achieved or has reached more... A greater ability than I have oh, to incorporate the counter. Like, the counter is, it's a fantastic tool, but there's a time and a place for it, and it's like once a match. Like, mm -hmm. unless your opponent is just, uh, little, little Meta Knight was too short for that one. He absolutely would have caught him. Oh, he, I think he saved his jump. Oh, no, no, he did not. Oh. Sorry, We're at 121. Right. 121. He's got him. A simple, simple little, uh, simple little something, you know? Oh, that, okay, yeah, we love him, we love him, Meta Knight love him. 
with eight million jumps, I would expect <laughs> he would. He's Austin's getting a little. He's getting jittery. He's getting. He's getting too. Yes! There it is! Oh! Less than off to oh. oh. The high ceilings, just like we said! Not quite. Mm -hmm. Did just miss the Yeah, like the yeah, counter while yeah, yeah. ah. Like, man, like. There you okay. go, there you go. Uh, oh. uh, he's at, I think he's at too high of a percent now for him to be able to do much with it. Austin, you're getting too. You're getting too jumpy. Like I know that you want to get this kill. I want you to get it too. Oh yes! Oh, the up, that was so disappointing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I was disappointing. Just like, maybe it's like oh. Marth. Maybe just maybe. He's at, oh, maybe there it the is. Like you said, that's all he needed. That's all he needed. One up tilt. Well played, Meta Knight. That was like that was. I have not seen many Meta Knights play, and that was a that was definitely a solid one. Yeah, like there's a lot of, like similar to the Little Mac effect, where there's just like stuff you just don't know about a character. Like I've not seen much Meta Knight play, and I can say that I fall in that category. Mm. Have you guys ever played Sekiro? I have not. Uh, heard and watched a lot of videos. It reminds me of old Ishin, no longer in his prime, but still formidable. <laughs> That's what that Meta Knight was. <laughs> He's not in brawl anymore, but He's, he's not still in brawl. <laughs> That's right. But he's still brawling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're about even stocks now. We have one stock advantage on their last character. Right. So we'll get to see who it is. Although, despite that match, I still feel like... I don't know if me, Swordfighter, was the right pick. Like, I feel like it was. Because a heavier character would have gotten caught in a lot of those... Um, up air strings and in, in, in my mind oh going back to callus right but i i, I agree i can I, I see that as a better option of of picking uh me sword, sword fighter yep uh but i can also see austin being able to just up air midnight yeah like uh, I, I kind of have that habit oh golden captain falcon Let's see it. I wonder... I don't think this is the same. Like, we played against a Golden Captain Falcon last year, and they were very solid. Or what was it last oh, Yeah, it was last year. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I feel like Micah had said that we played against this school before, but I don't recall the, the name of the university, maybe. It, it could be. And if they, if they are, then... Uh, they're back for a vengeance, so let's see it. I feel like it's the same. Saving him for last. Oh, it might be actually. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, Austin. Do it. Hit him with the schmooze, the projectiles. Uh, not quite. That's gonna be detrimental. Oh, not no knee of justice today, at least in this moment. Need sword fighter is such funky movement. It's like, oh, geez, man. yeah, like it's I so know. weird. That's what makes playing against them so weird for me. Oh, that was a that was a counter, but not quite able to connect with it. Oh, good job, off ledge. All right, let's let's see. Uh, let, let's make this uh, make this Captain Falcon come to you, Austin. There you go. Oh, okay. That's one thing about Austin's game. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like he is always going to bend. Uh, I would agree with that. Oh, not quite able to connect the with the. I think the Captain Falcon went from the knee there, but this is going to be a little problematic. Oh, oh Falcon, Falcon kick. kick! Who does that? I don't know. This guy. <laughs> yeah. This guy. Yep. I feel like this is that same Captain Falcon, and we beat them by the skin of our teeth. Because, oh, maybe not by the skin of their of our teeth, but um, I distinctly remember that we beat the Captain Falcon because he could not play against Zelda very well, oh, and we had and we had Katie yes. playing against him, and like she kept baiting him out to the end of the stage, and he would do stuff like Falcon Kick to get like over to her since it's a vaguely reliable kill move, 
and she would just shield through it, grab him, back throw him, and kill him. Right. I, I feel like I should run in there and be like, Aiden! Aiden! And place it. I think Dark Sands is going to be... I, th I think so too. As long as Aiden can play the spacing game, this Captain Falcon will probably struggle. Right, but Captain Falcon is also very quick. Yes, so, so uh, if he can close the gap and he can apply the pressure to Aiden, then he's going to struggle. Right. So it's a matter of who can gain the upper hand first. Um, that, that's how I'm going to say this match is going to go. Whoever, whoever gains the momentum... Well, I feel like Aiden could probably turn it around. Like, right, if he doesn't get too much of a deficit. Right, because Aiden, Aiden, uh, even with Dark Samus as a whole, uh, can control the pace of the game. Yes. Which is very, very helpful. Yes. And since Aiden is very observant, uh, can, can kind of hone in on that. Yeah, it's just a matter of being able to pull out the right options through the observations. Right. So, I believe in him. He can do it. It's down down to three stocks. Oh, going back to Kalos. Okay. Let's see it. <clears throat> and if I, in, depending on how this goes, I feel like they're gonna start the next game with Captain Falcon as the lead, because that's what they did last time. Because oh. we beat them the first time. They started with Captain Falcon the second time, and they made a comeback. Um, and then it was down to it was down to the, the wire, and we I think we were able to come out on top. I'm pretty sure we were able to. Okay. Captain Falcon uh, being very aware of the uh, Samus options. He is not trying to let Aiden uh, give himself the space that he needs. Oh, trying to go for a nice bold spike there. Um, yeah, this Captain Falco. Oh, oh, good option. That was a very good option. Oh, avoiding the knee. Oh, not quite Samus able to pick so up the forward air. Oh, 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 man, the command grab. Yeah. yeah. I was not ready for that. Not in the slightest. Same. This Captain Falcon loves the aggressive gameplay. I mean, that's Captain Falcon in general. But, like, this one specifically does not want to give anybody an inch. I mean, that's what you have to do against a, a, a zoner like this. Right. Um, Don't give them time. Wow! Even into that. I feel like... I feel like against the Captain Falcon, Caleb would be a good pick. Um, because he's, like, the, the zoning game, I feel like that would be beneficial. Okay. Or you can go ahead and just kind of same amount of direction. Yeah. The, sl the like, oh, oh, not quite, the high ceilings. I was ready for it too, but unfortunately, oh, that's dangerous. Oh, oh that was a lot of. Okay, okay, we take that. We take that. I, oh. I am. Oh. This is dangerous. Oh, the knee. Oh man. Well played, though. Well played. Dang. I imagine... Are we still echoey, maybe? I imagine um, the... Uh, I imagine they're going to start off with the Captain Falcon to try and close up the match. And I feel like we should... I feel like Caleb is the best pick into it. I could be wrong, but I feel like Caleb is the best pick. I feel like we're probably going to start with Andy because that's just typically what we do. Um, I, think, I think it would be a good fight with Andy. I do too. But you think it's best option for uh, the kill to get in? I 
think if Caleb like Caleb has shown that he's done a really solid job at playing his zoning gameplay. I haven't quite seen that from Aiden tonight. Um, and that is what we need against this Captain Falcon, or at least a more defensive play style. Um, I can't say that necessarily Caleb executes it perfectly either because there's a lot of times he's throwing out that up B out of shield and the opponent is ready for it. And a Captain Falcon will absolutely be able to capitalize off of that. If he can read it right, he could maybe even get a Falcon punch off. Um, maybe but um they're at the advantage now so i feel like we need a strong opener and i feel like they're since they are at the advantage they're gonna try and pick a strong opener too and roll with the captain falcon that's my that's my two cents no i could i could Two hours and one minute into the stream. Um, hope you all have uh, enjoyed yourselves here. Seen some good matches tonight on both ends. Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, uh, Caleb Lewis uh, coming in here. It is. Uh, so we. Um, so our first match that we had, um, we went 0 and 2. In this match, we are 0 and 1. So, but it was very close. It was down to the last set of three stocks, one person each. So if I were to guess, um, they're gonna start off strong with the Captain Falcon because that's what they did last year. But this is a brand new year, new new everybody. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. If I felt so bold, I could try to uh, change the uh, change the scores dynamically for you all, but it's not uh, very pretty yet, so I don't want to do that. Hmm. Yes. Oh, oh Kazuya, okay. I was wrong. And who do we have going for? Aiden. Aiden? I think Aiden's got this match. So, yeah. So what do you guys, how do you guys get good with your characters? What do you guys do? I've been playing Smash since Melee. All right, so. Um, <laughs> and Noah is a lot better than I am. Um, so like, um, hours into your character, um, seeing pros play is immensely helpful because um, they just do things that you never would expect to be done out of your character. And it's like, oh, I can incorporate this into my arsenal. Do I always? No. But, um, oh, look at this. Look at this movement coming from Aiden. This is what I like to see. Oh, I feel like he could have gotten a charge shot there. Ooh, getting some damage, but uh, now Kazuya no longer has the uh, no longer has the buff and a sh oh no no dash attack kill coming from uh, Dark Samus here yet. Um, and there forward smash taking the stock. And like, if at all possible, and we could even try and get it set up in here, like at Micah's station, um, if you have a video pulled up of like, oh hey, here's how to do this, and then literally have the Switch controller in your hand and you can try to execute it right then and there, like that's immensely helpful. Like watching video, oh, okay. Kazi is buffed, but um, oh, yes he was. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, nice DI. Oh, wow. Barely avoiding the arrow. Oh, oh, oh I say arrow, the laser, yep. But uh, I was expecting, uh, almost expecting a back arrow to come out there from Aiden. Uh, not quite, but they can pick him up with the up, uh, up air. Good job. Making him play the options. Now when Aiden's throwing out the charge shot as they're falling down, is he preventing fastball or just... So he's making them commit to something. So like, they're either going to get hit by this charge shot or they're going to go further off stage. 
they're gonna go further in. He's making them make a decision, gotcha. and pretty much if he can react to it, then he oh oh, oh. not quite able oh. oh get an extra damage off. But at 62.5 percent, I believe that we can uh, do some fat damage this Kazia. Oh, 143. Oh, that was very close. Oh, I agree. Oh, Aiden, you have platforms to your advantage. Oh, that Kazuya. Oh, oh. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so ready for this Kazuya Ooh. to try to, like, get the... Oh, he, he lost it. He lost the buff. He lost the buff. Oh, oh. Ooh. Charge shot. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. He's yeah, got full, a neutral beat. Fully charge it. Fully charge it. Come on, Aiden. You got this. Ah. Uh. They are both locked in. Oh, they I'm... are. They, they both just do not oh. lock in. There, oh. it is. there it is. Good decision. Good job. Good decision. And um, that was like an anime battle. It was. <laughs> it, like they both got to the point where they just like, I don't want to take any more damage, and they just like paced the, they spaced themselves out enough that it was just like. Who's gonna approach first? Right. Kazia doesn't ne really win in that situation unless they can just close the gap on Samus. Um, right, trying to move yeah, closer. trying to because like they got the laser, which obviously helps, but like not quite enough, uh, not quite enough damage just to pick up a kill. Right. Now, does Kazia have a? He does, but it's like a very specific move. He like does a weird kick yeah. that he can use as, a, as his reflector. Um, and if someone no, like Kazuya did not need a reflector, but that's a that's a that's a different story. Um, <laughs> granted, I think it's a little bit tricky to pull off, but like right. still, more I don't think Kazuya has enough. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more. What would you What would you do for Kazuya, Braden? Um. I would implement an unbreakable shield. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. The only character in the game who can shield regardless of anything. Yeah. <laughs> shield all the time. Yeah. Well. Just something to make him a little Attack more reasonable. Attack while shielding. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um. So they started with Kazuya last time. Um, they might, I think they might just be running it back. Who do they have after that? They had Meta Knight, the person Link after that. Yeah, Link, okay. Meta Knight. This might be a little problematic for Aiden if they still run with Link. I feel like... I don't think the Captain Falcon will come out yet. I feel I feel like they're going to save him for last. I think so. Um, since they're at advantage here. Um, uh, so... I feel like this might be a little bit of a troublesome matchup for Aiden. Um, I haven't seen Aiden be able to get a lot of the Samus combos that, um, yeah, like, um, not a lot of up tilt strings, not a lot of, uh, not a whole lot of aerial gameplay in general, um, but, uh, but yeah, so, we will see what happens. Would you like in on the commentary action, Dylan? Sure, Oh, okay. This is new. I'm guessing that this was the link. I, it probably is. I hate playing against Villager. It is like the bane of me. I hate it. I, I feel like Pocket is going to use. Oh, yeah. They have the jelly. Pocket the bomb or we pocket the charge shot. Oh, charge shot through and through. Oh yeah, he oh, went for oh, it immediately. Immediately. Aiden like Aiden knows what he has to do, but like he's just not been able to fully connect with a lot of this, his stuff tonight. So like <laughs> Pocket the Rocket in reverse. Pocket the Rocket. <laughs> and the tree's dying. Changing of seasons, you know? Oh, oh yes! 
Yes! Nice. Great job, Aiden. I've always wanted to do that against Villager, but I've never been able to. Live by... I want to live vicariously through Aiden right now. <laughs> now is your time. Now is my time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it could lead to it could lead some to some weirdo jank, and Aiden is not letting that uh, that tree become a factor yeah. at all. He's he doesn't have to. He doesn't. He doesn't believe in helping. <laughs> Global warming happen faster. Yep. Oh, he, he, oh, oh, and a oh, shield, shield break! Oh, no! But, oh, and it oh, did it kill. kill. I'm, like, oh. mildly surprised, but, man, that's so I, I sad. It, it didn't have a spark or anything, so I was like, oh, maybe he could. Yeah, be. I figured that he could, but not today. Did the pocket just reach far enough to go around the tree? I think that, yeah, I think that's just the villager's game plan. He's gonna try and, yeah, like just counter uh, counter space behind the tree. Oh, Not enough. Uh, Aiden wanted it. He wanted it. Oh, oh but a forward, forward smash, smash taking it. Yes, it is. Oh, oh man. Like this villager is really throwing me off because like they'll occasionally do something that's like really solid gameplay, but I feel like for the most part, um, they just have, they're just not doing it for me. Granted, I hate Villager anyway, but, um, he's trying to, trying to fish for, oh, man, that forward smash at ledge could have been very problematic for him, but he's not letting it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's pocketed the rocket, oh, he was, he's like, I'm gonna get rid of this thing as fast as possible. Right. They're both at around 100%. Uh, it could be anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good choice in the charge shot. No pockets the rocket. Right. I, I feel. Mean, oh. 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 No. Oh. No. He had that game on lockdown. He did. He did a hundred percent. That is so sad. Good Sorry. job, Aiden. Good Very job. good job, Aiden. Very good job. You took five stocks. You, you set up a, a quality lead. Yes. Um, all right. I'm feeling Andy. Feeling Andy? Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't know how I feel about this pick. I don't... I don't, I don't hate it. I think I think it's smart to, to just clean it up. I think so. Um, you're, you're right. Hopefully it's not the Meta Knight next, because I feel like I feel like Austin would do pretty decent against the Falcon. You think so? Okay. The villager matches pocket is a tornado, so. Um. Well, I guess it's. Does he have? He he only has. No, he has the little he has ring, the little thing. ring, ring yep. thing. Yep. But what's the villager going to use the ring thing for? So. Uh, maybe weird gimp or something like okay. that. Right. Potentially. Yeah, like a weird, like maybe a stage spike, like if they go to Kalos, like probably what Austin's going to pick. Right. Yeah, um, like, like go backwards and throw it at stage potentially, like maybe throw a weird like stage spike situation with it, <coughs> maybe. <coughs> We'll Dylan see. said hi. Hello, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. He called me earlier. I called him back, and he said he heard my voice and wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> he also sounded... I don't even know what was going on, if they were ambulance sirens or police oh. sirens, but <laughs> just the entire time he was on the phone with me, I just hear sirens in the background. Okay. I was like, oh, goodness. They're finding me. <laughs> he wanted to say his final goodbye. Right, he just, just want to hear your voice before <laughs> Maybe. I'm curious if that villager was the link or the nether. I'm thinking I'm thinking the link. I agree. I think it was the link. Just because of like range usage? Yeah, like the way they played. Did it like Win or lose? He, he lost. lost. Uh, it was it was such a sad air dodge off stage, and like they were both about equal percents, and man, like so sad. But um, but here we are. Just to clarify, it's three on three or four on four. Four on four. Four on four. four. I just wanted to yep. make sure. I, I thought that was it. Yep. So. Got it. You got it. Um. Three, two, 
So we have uh, two stocks on this villager down. So all Austin has to do is just... Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all Austin has to do is just take one, so. Oh, get the strings. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a very dangerous, uh, dangerous place for the shield to be. He, now Austin does not have as many good options. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> Uh, not, the tree. <laughs> <laughs> not as many good options on uh, on the tree as uh, yeah, there he is pocketing the little ring. But uh, it looks like it kept the momentum, which is a little funky. Um, like it did not go very far at all. Yep. Yeah. I figured maybe it just would have made the projectile neutral. Um, but but uh, here we are. No, it's not. Oh. Yes! Oh, that should be Great awesome. job! Great job, Austin. That's what we needed. Nice. That is what we needed. Like he just he must have just lost his iframes on ledge, like as the tornado was swinging by for its little hitbox, like. Right. Or was just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or he, yeah, or maybe he jumped early. I don't know. Either way, Austin that. Yes, he did. That's exactly what we needed. That's huge. Are they gonna send that next? Um, probably their Meta Knight. Um, they eat Meta Knight, but they also have this Captain Falcon that has. Right. He's got the schmooves. Yeah. So, um, I'm imagining. Their villager was probably their link that played before. We are down. Uh, we are down a match. Oh one right now. Um, so. Are you watching? Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep track of everything. I feel like I lost track of the socks on game. For whatever reason, I thought there was there was like three on three last time. And that's what I thought. Ended, um, like. Yeah, like, the, the the rules occasionally change here and there. Um, not too, too drastically. But before, um, it was just, like, the first to eliminate 12 stocks, period. Like, whoever went through the team first won. Okay. But n they've since implemented a best two of three, which is a lot better. Because yeah. um, uh, just playing one set of matches, it's very rough. Like, n no time to adapt or anything it's like very that. very quick as well. Yeah, yeah like... Yeah, the, uh, yeah, so, um, so this new format's a lot better, uh, um, but we, uh, we are going into the, uh, next match here. I feel like, oh, going small battlefield, okay. This is probably the Meta Knight. Oh, okay, okay. okay. All right, All right. Braden, Time take some notes. In. Yep. Time take some I notes. was thinking I needed to leave soon. It's because they're using my skin. They're using <laughs> the skin I wanted, but then just didn't. I didn't feel like bothering with skins at all. I'm curious to know who this K rule is from their, from their team. Mm. You think so? Yeah. Oh, through the platform. Right, going like the Meta Knight, the KK Yeah, that's true. Has very different similar colors. That's true. Oh, uh, it did not pick up the, the cannonball. I thought it maybe uh, maybe would have liked that. Yep, there oh! it is. Oh, there it is. Yep. All right, Braden. See, there you go. I didn't, know you could, I didn't know that would be. I, I, was, uh, I was actively saying, oh, I really wish Braden would, uh, would use, the, uh, use the vacuum a little bit more to catch this mark. And, uh, See, I just didn't know. Yep, now you know. Austin seems to be adapting pretty well. Oh. Not quite, not quite able to pick it up. Miss K rule is playing very defensively, which is very good for them. <laughs> not good for us. Oh, not wow. quite. No. Good patience. Makes me think I'm on the main menu right now because the Smash just oh, general yeah. theme is playing. I'm like, wait, is there something open in the background? Yeah, that back throw. Oh, not quite able to get the kill. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. He didn't have to. If he would have maybe fast fell earlier, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
If if Austin can pick up a stock, that will be that'll be pretty big. Right. And uh, try to use like uh, try to use those platforms like that to get those up tilts and stuff. Like you got the up smash Brayden on the uh, I think on the mark. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and right wow. Right the uh, wow. He was, I mean, he had the advantage, so. Right. Suck and cuck is, yep. is that technique. It is the, it is the strap. There. <laughs> Stay bold, Brady. Stay bold. <laughs> that you're is now officially right on Malone's stream right <laughs> <laughs> Scrub, the, stream stream has been scrub the archives. Oh, man. Wow. Oh my oh. gosh. You're making me want to do that, but I feel like I would just push too far and end up hurting myself. <laughs> my back cracks like that all the time. I don't know if it's a... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that sounded fantastic. It was, actually. I hope the stream caught that. <laughs> Very softly. Like crinkling paper. <laughs> Alright. We got Caleb. Let's see it. This... I don't... I guess maybe to try to avoid the K rule shenanigans, we're going Caleb. Caleb I guess, is I don't know. a like, harder fight for me, I think. I think Andy and I are closer, I think, than Caleb and I have been, which just might be the amount of times I've played Andy, but mm -hmm. usually I think it's because Andy Ganon himself is so like up in your face, mm -hmm. get up in your face, but he's also big enough and slow enough that K roll can move around him. Link is a lot faster and yeah. just able to get there and attack. Yeah, I think like and, and he's and got the range. Yeah, he yeah. I think the biggest thing is going to be the range. Like uh, his projectile game. Like Caleb has absolutely been improving on it. And if he does not, it, like if he picks maybe a larger stage other than small battlefield. Like maybe if he picks FD or if he picks um, like Kalos or something like that, then he might have a little bit of a better time. Um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I oh, town okay. Now uh, town city would be a good one. If he can just outrange this uh, K rule, then I think that it'll be a solid match. Uh, yes, we are now even stocks. Um, both down six, six left to go. So the Captain Falcon will be a very big menace. So if Caleb needs to clean this up. And if he does, then we'll have six stocks going into that Captain Falcon. It will be very crucial. Unless that Captain Falcon will just struggle against uh, against Andy. Um, that could be a, a tricky matchup. But we will see how the match goes. That's right. 1985. <laughs> 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 Paying attention to the... Uh, Paying attention to the uh, smash facts on the screen. To be honest, I had forgotten that they even existed. Um, yeah, it's just it just. They got combos. Oh, there it is. See, I don't also. All Back vacuum tech oh. is just. Ooh, man, that is hefty. Sorry. Yeah, with the vacuum, uh, if you're on the platform, you can fall through. Yeah. Like, it, of your choice. No, that's rough. It's, it's a pretty solid option. Ah! Oh. Just kind of edge guard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Good okay. Choice. Get some, get some jank going. <laughs> the ball in exchange. No, oh, the bomb is. Uh, oh. Okay. oh, that was perfect timing. Don't know if that was intentional. Oh, wow. He's buried. What was that timing? Oh, that's that's a kill. Yep. And he made sure to kick the bomb off. Uh, don't don't do it. Don't do it. He's gonna try and get some jank going. Oh no. Oh man, that would have been so good. Okay. Man, he had the right idea. Okay, okay, okay. Even stocks. 
If he does not let... Oh, he wanted that back air. He wanted the spike. But if if uh, Caleb can put the zoning pressure on this K rule, and he doesn't like let him bury him, he doesn't let him vacuum him or anything like, oh, good decision. Um, then oh, so close. Like he's making sure that cannonball is not a factor, but I feel like K rule's gonna oh, nah. hitting the spike. See if we can clean up the stock. Ah, oh, so close. Oh man, I thought that was. Yeah, I, I thought. Um, I thought the K rule even uh, got the got a vacuum off or something. To, oh, do it again. Do it again. Oh. Oh, and he got the crown. Oh, but we taking it. So we're even stocks. All right, Caleb, this is your moment. You want it. I want it. Everybody here wants it for you. Crown armor. Oh, the belly! It's it's so uh, like you have to literally hit his stomach, like like. But if he hit, if he gets it hit twice more while it's cracked, then oh that's problematic. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not. I. Ooh. He cannot get close to K rule because Ooh, that was that's it that's it. No, no, so oh, so okay, we live in. He's gonna. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, yes! He gets yes! He gets yes! Yes! Ready, yes! Ready, we take that. I actually, I do know what happened there. So for me, anytime I've like. Shot the cannonball that and then low. tried to up B. No matter where I am, if I try to up B too soon after shooting the cannonball, it you doesn't register yeah, up, it just back. Yeah. Just back. yeah. <laughs> so he wow. probably shot the cannonball, got the hit, and then was like, let me up B, but it was too soon. Yep. So he just ended up vacuuming and couldn't get out of it. Wow. Right, because it was that final kill streak, maybe, it kind of threw him off. Or yeah, something. he's like, oh, this but is it. This, this, is, this oh, is it. This is the moment. I At least was, that's what's happened for me. I was not ready for the cannonball to come out there. Um, right. Like, I was expecting the vacuum, but I was surprised the can. And maybe that's even what happened. Like, the fact that the cannonball, like, uh, the fact the cannonball hit Link probably threw off the K rule because he, maybe he was going for the vacuum. And the fact that he got hit by the cannonball, like, launched him up and then he just didn't have time to react too quickly. Because he figured it, he might have figured it killed him anyway. He made mistakes, so yep. Wow. Right. You see, I thought I thought that it was because it was that final spark. Yeah. That I mean, that too. Like, there's there's a lot of variables that went into that, but we take those. We definitely take those. We take those. Yes, we do. Yep. We take those. So we got one stock going in. One stock going into this uh uh this Captain Falcon here. So Caleb. Yeah, if he can take even one, that will be monumental. Because uh, Caleb and Andy have not fought. No, they were the first two last time around. It was uh, Austin and Aiden that fought the Captain Falcon. So, like, if Caleb can range him, if Caleb can keep him zoned, then that's that's what we're about. No, they died first. They died first. They died first. Also, it's like that in tournament, though. He he wasn't gonna die either. No, because because he was slow. Yeah. Yep. Even in tournaments, the star KO is a thing. Like, Mike is sound like, Mike is sounds like he screwed yes, his he voice. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that in tournament rulings too. Star KO, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's literally how the game is programmed. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't end, and then he like, yeah. No, Star KO has been around for. 
I don't know if it's been around since 64, but it's at least been around since Melee. What is um, Star Kale? So, uh, whenever you kill someone off the top, there's a chance that you will get the death animation where they like spiral out of screen, out of screen, like Team Rocket blasting off again, and then like, uh, so um, yeah, like they'll go flying in the distance, and like you'll see the little like, dink, like they've like gone so far that you can't see them anymore. And once that dink happens, then the stock is taken. Um, it does not happen before then. So, um, in this situation, they're trying to argue that a star KO happened, although I didn't even see him. He didn't go, go off the top, I think he was going off the side. Yeah. yeah. But he was, he was not going to die no. in the first place. No, he, he was, he, I don't know if it was just DI or happenstance, but like, he was not going to, like, he was living for sure. Right, I, I, think, I think it was both, just like, uh, it was weak enough of a hit, and also, DI, yeah. just him just not wanting to yeah. go further towards the blast zone. Yeah. There was no... I, I didn't see a star KO. No. Ready? Okay, that was the ruling. All right. You got it, Caleb. Zone him. Zone him like no tomorrow. Don't let him get in close. We're on normal PS1. This needs to change. No. They might know that. Yeah, it looks like Literally the only difference, actually the blast zones might be a little bit different, but the only difference is that the platforms on PS1 are a little bit closer. And PS2, they're a little bit farther away. That's literally the only difference. In a competitive setting. In an actual, like, um, in the actual normal Smash Bros, the stages transform differently. Um, but in the competitive setting, um, PS1 is is technically banned for redundancy's sake. Um, PS2 is a little bit more unique because the platforms are spaced out a little bit farther. Three, two, one, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Got to make sure the rules are followed here. Um, you know, just uh. PS1 at a different time of day. Um, it might. I mean, I, I think the time of day is a little bit there. It might be later, potentially. There are fireworks going on in the whole thing. Um, but I think, I think just uh, PS2 is, um, it's a little bit more like teal green compared to, like, or seafoam green compared to, um... Okay, okay. But Caleb is uh, using platforms and projectiles effectively. He's zoning them out like he needs to. Oh man, I was not ready for it to go over the pipe. Oh. oh no, no. Oh. Oh no. Man, I'm so ready for that the stage spike. You got it, Caleb. One stock. That's all you need. Oh. Oh, oh I'm on the edge of my seat, man. I can't take it. How wild would it have been had that random bomb gone off and just like launched the Captain Falcon into it? <laughs> like not even not even Caleb like activating it, just <gasps> oh, man. The Captain Falcon is is like yeah, it is. Right. Oh no. Oh. Oh. No. You got this, Caleb. Take a stop. Take a stop. You can do it. Grab him! Grab him! Oh. 
Yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh, uh, yes. Well played. Very well played. And that would have been an even match had they both like had three stocks. Like that's that's what I was thinking and kind of just say from the get-go. Yeah. Well played, Caleb. Very well played. Man, a, a grab at a shield from Caleb would have would have probably done it. I don't know what grab move uh, or what kill throw Link has, if any. Maybe up throw. I don't know. I think so. I think maybe back throw. I don't think so. It's just like a slight kick. But maybe he could have comboed it into something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I mean, a back throw at ledge. I I, I don't know. But we'll we'll see. I forgot Andy's finishing it. Yes, he is. So, like, if Andy can play his game and not let this Captain Falcon do the things that it wants to do, then we got it. But Andy's got to really dial in here. He can't get flustered. He can't accidentally air dodge. He can't do any of that. The pressure's on. But I have confidence in you, Andy. Got this, Andy. Make this go to game three. <laughs> yes, it would. It'd be just like last year, because I'm pretty sure this is the team. Make us go for another whole hour. Let's go! <laughs> Kalos, all right. I feel like the Captain Falcon likes Kalos. I guess so. Well, Maybe Andy, Andy did. Andy did pick it. So, all right. But yeah, he can wall jump off of Kalos, so. Yep. Man and Oh, yeah. Because that's a whole man right there. <laughs> <laughs> the largest of men. Alright. Go. Going into it. Alright. Do the, do the Ganon things. The original Echo Fighters. Duking it out. Oh. He's getting some good reads in. Don't be afraid to gain inside, Andy. Don't be afraid. Oh, man. That's a big spike. Good with his combos. Yep. He's solid. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yep. Man, so uh, so quick, too. We have not even been in this match for a minute. Oh, Andy. Oh. Air dodge back on the stage. Okay. Neutral get up. Oh. He's feeling the pressure. I can see it in his play style. He's uh, he's very concerned, as would I be. But uh, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, if Andy can do what he needs to do, and the, and the Captain Falcon is playing a little bit, a little nonchalant because he has the advantage here. Uh, oh no! Oh. Taunted, yes, he though. did. This, this saucy All right, that is the match. Good job, good job, everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the match. So um, we might have some friendlies here for a little bit. I don't know if uh, anybody wants to get in there and have their have their go at it, the Captain Falcon. If they do stick around, and it is it is pretty late, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. They might, uh, they might just, uh, be out of here, so. Oh, Micah is going in for a friendly against the Captain Falcon, I'd imagine.
Thank you for your performance, gentlemen. Yes, sir. It was still a good game. It, it was, was absolutely. I will, uh... Not exactly how I'm going to start the season, but good stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's, um... Stuff to stuff to look to to work on. So, yep. Alrighty. Yep. Have a good night, gentlemen. Oh, maybe it looks like uh, Aiden is going in here uh, for a friendly against this uh, against the Captain Falcon, potentially, or against somebody. Dunktastic. A Robin. This is not what we signed up for. But looks like we're doing it anyway. Starting off with a strong arc fire, very aggressive Robin. We have uh, we have Aiden here uh, trying to uh, play his game. Wow, that's a funky hitbox. Getting a down tilt and an up tilt or up air rather. Uh, not quite able to connect it into the uh, up B fully. Um, oh, oh, interesting. Uh, like, I don't see a lot of Robin gameplay, so this is very aggressive and very different from uh, the little bit that I do get to see. Um, so I don't see as much uh, utilization of the spells not to their full charge. Um, I guess typically whenever I see a Robin, it's in a, a random matchup. Um, and everybody can just tries to go for Thoron to blast everybody, but you know that is uh that is what's happening right now. Up throw, back throw. Not quite able to connect with the Elf Thunder, and it looks like he's almost out of Thunder spells. Um, the uh, fire wanted to go for a grab, but not quite able to connect with it. Um, Aiden getting a stage spike and a dash attack will secure the first stock. So uh, Aiden at 137 has got to be very careful about uh, any of these attacks that the Robin could throw out, especially now that they have their, uh, they got their full arsenal charged now again. And not quite able to pick up the kill from that forward air. Oh, but the thunder coming in and taking up Aiden's first stock. Oh, not quite able to, he was getting for a, a little bit of hit stun on that attack, but uh, not quite able to connect with the charge shot. Um, playing some aggressive uh, edge guarding, but um, the, the Robin was able to get around it. And I think uh, potentially Aiden might be trying to use uh, Dark Samus's uh, Dark Samus's size to get around the L Thunder whenever she goes for the uh, whenever she goes for the uh, down B bombs. Um, and I guess I did not realize that the uh, rapid jab from Robin. Um, oh, that's so weird that it hits behind him. Okay, down smash, funky angle, against a worse recovery might have killed. Ah, uh, not quite able to get the spike, but Robin trying to go for a counter. Oh, good job Aiden, making it back. Charge shot coming in, getting a nice 30% and a parry coming off there. Up B, getting some extra damage in. The heavy rocket from Dark Samus piercing through, I believe, the arc fire from Robin. Oh, they went for a, another... Uh, I wonder if that is the sword or if that's the thunder um, spellbook that adds that extra effect to it. I'm not sure. And 
and uh, using their spacing well to just get out of range out of the hit of uh, Aiden's charge shot. Oh, and Thoron coming in to secure the stock. And they're going to play a little bit more defensively here. And they, uh, they're definitely hitting their combo game, that's for sure. The arc fire is a very annoying move. Aiden is finding that out firsthand if you did not already know that. Up air, getting close to launching off the top, but Kalos, as we uh, saw earlier. Oh, a down smash off the side of the stage. Great job, Aiden. Ooh, the spectator. Maybe that was the spectator. I don't know if it was. Oh, but Micah coming in here with the little Mac, wanting to play some games. Not enough room in the arena. Okay, I guess we're watching uh we're watching them play now. So we got a Simon versus a K rule. I have no idea who either of these people are. But we did play against the K rule in the match, so we'll see how they fare against the Simon. Interesting use of the down air to get back, uh, not quite able to make it back to stage. The thing about the Belmonts is they do not have a great recovery. Simon is uh, getting hit by all of the K roll things. The heavy, uh, heavy shield coming in from the, uh, from the Carol to, or the, uh, uh, the Simon to block all of the Carol projectiles, but, um, <laughs> it's quite the interesting matchup. I was not expecting the spectator to play against the, uh, um, play against the, the team, but good job tonight, gentlemen. Have a good night. Oh, grab? Nope, no grab at ledge. We have some axes being thrown. And again. Holy fire. Or holy water, actually, I think. Oh, air dodge coming in from a fatal blow. A lot of projectile game coming in from the Simon, which is literally their entire game plan. So, respect. Ooh, hitting the up tilt. Does make it back to stage that time, but this one might be a little bit trickier. And a spike coming in from the K roll. Oh, the Simon. Oh. I'm going to go uh, join the other individuals in the lab over there to see if, uh, see what the scoop is. See if Micah can get his opportunity to play.
and they ended the arena. So that is it. Well, thank you all for joining in on this three-hour live stream. Um, we will uh, see you all next Thursday for another exciting uh, set of matches. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in.